Say, man, what's up? This your boy Charleston White for the 17th, 19th time on the Real Life Street Star platform. We're doing it again, y'all. Y'all know this is another big hit. It's going to be an epic interview, and I brought the pig poker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, his hand out of pocket. <laughs> Real life three stars. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Uh, Alexa, play uh, Mace. Welcome back. He's back in the city. Yeah, yeah. Y'all always catching off the road when I ain't bathing two days, looking rough. Off the uh, day. Yeah, y'all always catch me fresh off the road. Fresh off the road, man. I'm glad you're yeah, on the yeah. road, man. Like you, you seem like you're going everywhere every day. You a uh, different city got you. Uh yeah, yeah. I quit I quit Live Nation, uh got that chain from around my neck. <laughs> and boy, I've been flourishing like a m Cause they put that chain around my neck and was only paying me fifty dollars a show. God. Yeah, I, I went from making ten thousand dollars on my own show. See, that's why they say stay independent and do your own thing. God, that's yeah. why you don't sign. I'm curious. Your chain That's why Young Dolph didn't sign. Oh. That's why Dolph didn't sign. Is, is there any pluses with working with Live Nation? Oh, uh, 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 it's like going to Harvard. You get you got a Harvard degree. So it's a plus when you walk away with a Harvard degree. Uh, it's like working for IBM, homie. Uh, it's on your resume. Yeah, so 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 my my booking uh and yeah, my prices go up a little bit because it was it, it was a successful Live Nation tour. Uh, and, and prior to my name getting on those tickets, uh, those uh, prior to my name getting on the website, uh, those ticket sales were very stagnant uh, until my face uh, appeared. So why stop after what? How many shows you do? Five? I did five. Yeah, five shows. Um, why not go ten? Like uh, uh, because I was spending two thousand dollars a show for Man. for my for I was spending two to three thousand dollars a show for my flights, my hotel because I wouldn't I don't stay in cheap hotels. Uh, plus I got a cameraman, uh, my own security, uh, the, 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 tr you know, to pay for my merch to travel. So I'm spending two or $3,000 each, each show. So I ain't gonna lie. We came to the Dallas show. You know, yeah. Real life was in the building and, uh, they was shutting shit down like a motherfucker. We were supposed to come backstage and get some pictures and back. They're like, hell no. Can't nobody do nothing. Can't nobody uh, move around back without, like, without TK Kirkland's permission is what, from what I was told. Uh, from, uh, I, I I don't know why they did that, homie. Uh, I I don't know why would Live Nation go from being that strict uh, for 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 no reason. So they didn't allow my cameraman to come backstage. Uh, so they basically had me backstage by myself, and 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 I saw every angle where people could have snuck in and got me. So that's what really made me quit. Did, on top of the fact that I wasn't getting paid. Did so you not feel it was for your own protection though? Uh, well, you know, I'm on. Uh, well, I had to go through a metal detector, so they stripped me of all weapons. So in my mind, somebody set me up to be back though, my nigga. Mm. It is Dallas for work. Oh, uh, no, nah, no, nah, no, nah, no, nah, because we fit to go on the road. So what about when we go to other cities and it's like this? Yeah. What about when what about when we on the West Coast and it's like this? What about when we up north close to Chicago and it's like this? So nigga, I saw, my people saw, nigga, where anybody could have got past where they needed to get past, nigga, to got up on me, homie. And I'm back there by myself. If I scream and holler, can't nobody hear me. So I'm saying, why would they do that? Nigga, we ain't causing no problems. Mm -hmm. Nigga, we ain't causing no, the police. I'm saying, why would they do that? Uh, part, of, part of these weapons is my props. Part of these weapons is what make the crowd laugh. My soldier boy skit. They wouldn't even let me use a lighter gun to do the Jay Moran joke. Goddamn. Goddamn. So I'm curious, you went back and forth just maybe a couple times with TK about the situation. I never went back and forth with him, not one time. I, oh. I, I, I spoke with him. Uh, I noticed when he first invited me to the tour, he never gave me a number. So that was the first, that was my first red flag. Uh, that was my first red flag. So my thing was, well, can I sell my merch? Oh yeah, you can sell your merch. Can I get footage for my YouTube channels? Okay, yeah. So once they start stopping that, I can't sell my merch. I can't get backstage behind the scene footage. Uh, and nigga, my checks, I get, I get, I did five shows in Jacksonville, and the nigga cashed out me two hundred and fifty dollars in front of, in front of, in front of the fans. Oh yeah, in front of the fans, homie. We out there taking pictures, homie. The woman come up and say, "Hey, uh, 
So I'm like, well, my, everybody getting paid except me. So uh, he said, no, no, me and him have worked that out. The nigga cash out me too. And this is in front of everybody, homie, out in the lobby. Damn. This is this the first time. So I'm saying, damn, okay. But he don't know that the woman came to Dewberry and gave us her card and said, hey, man, uh, when we put Charleston's name on the website, man, these tickets sell, we're going to be standing room only. That's five shows, homie. So academics made a long video about like the business of Live Nation and things like that and the deal with TK Kirkland and said you probably weren't in the know of what the business was with all that. He's lying. Uh, DJ Academics don't know nothing. He don't. He ain't talked to me or TK Kirkland. So, so my first, so my first show with Live Nation was in Vegas, right? So to this day, I still haven't got paid from the Vegas show. So, nigga, I kill it at the Vegas show. Nigga, Mayweather, the whole family come out to see me. Nigga, we saw that we saw. Even we... Sancho said I killed it at the Vegas. Nigga, Sancho said him and his wife was in the crowd. <laughs> oh, not Sancho. So, so, so peep game, right? Oh, y'all got to go watch it. Talk to me. <laughs> oh, they hooked. So, so, uh, so I still haven't got paid from Vegas. So the next day we go from Vegas to San Diego. So I'm going to California, nigga. So we drive. So I got a rental car. I got two armed security guards and I got my team. Right. So I done already filled out a W-9. Right. So when I first agreed to the tour, he said, I'm going to have a live nation representative call you, nigga, within 30 minutes. Once I agreed to the tour, nigga, that was in April or May. I spoke with a Live Nation rep. They got all my information, homie, for a W-9. They got my bio, my EPK. They got everything. Right? So they got, so this is the first W-9. This is done in April, May before the tour starts. The tour starts July 5th. So July 5th, we do Vegas. Sell out, kill it, Mandalay Bay. Ooh. Sell out, kill it, Mandalay Bay, House of Blue. The very next day, July 6th, we're in San Diego at the uh, observ Observatory a theater, sell it out, kill it, homie. Mm. But I can't sell my merch. Right after that, hey, we need another W-9. I fill out a W-9, I get a check handed to me in my hand. I get a check handed to me in my hand. But what I thought was strange was, uh, before the show started, man, TK called me in, 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 in to, into his room. Uh, his exact words to me, and, and this this pierced my soul. The nigga exact words to me was, uh, uh, don't, try not to be funny tonight. I just want you to just go out there and talk shit. Yeah. Just go out there and talk shit. You know, they 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 love for you to talk shit. He giving you game? Nah, nigga. He asked me to diminish my light, nigga, because I killed it in Vegas. He do the same set every night, and he was kind of sick. He was kind of off in Vegas. So you were outshining him. Yeah. And that's what it was. Yeah. So would you uh, ever work with him again? Nah. That's just that's the Remember when I told you he came to me and offered me an opportunity and he's gonna mentor me and help make me a big star like he did all these other people. But when you invite me on to this tour, you don't gonna say, hey brother, we're gonna pay you 750. Nigga, I'm making 10 right now. Why will I stop making 10 to come make 750? To learn what? What do I need to learn? That's the question. Do you feel like he's made people that everybody says he made? You feel I've like never heard them people say it. Nigga, you don't. It, he probably fucked over them and helped them, you know. But nigga, we ain't never, we ain't never heard Mikey Epps or, or D.L. Hughley come out and say, nah, man, the big, I'm paying homage to him because he woo, 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 woo. Why hadn't they paid the homage if he really did that? Mm. So was there a Sandra Bullock, if all these people and nigga, they still alive. So why hadn't they come on, homie? Was there a show coming up that you want to be at that you like, man, fuck it? Like after the Dallas show. Was there another show that was coming up? Oh, uh, well, let, let, let me just let me just keep taking you through the timeline. Yeah. So I get my check and at, at the at, 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 at the, so if we supposed to wait, why did I get a check then? It's a live nation check. I actually go on live and show, nigga, I got a Live Nation check. Yeah. I went on live and showed it. Why I didn't get a check? Okay. So what I start noticing after each show 
it was a W-9 problem, and oh, we'll mail it to you. Oh, you know how we do it, fam. So with, with me and him, we I'm going on a, on our word basis, homie. Two men. Cause he talked that man, that man talk. I ain't hurting for money. So let me see. Cause it's a great opportunity to have on my resume. And it shows them I'm really not a problem. I can be worked with. I'm not what they think I am, homie. And everybody at every event got to see that. Mm. So I, I'm I know what I'm doing. TK said though that he's like comedians who Open up. He's like, man, we just we make twenty dollars. Oh, you don't but, get a but, lot of but, money but, when you're but, opening but, acts. I don't need to be an opening act, homie. I'm headlining 26, 20, 30 shows before they when he come get me. I'm supposed to be hosting, is what he told me. I'm the host, not no opening act. On the website, it says hosted by. Come on now. It says hosted by. Not opening, it says hosted by Charleston White. So people are buying tickets thinking I'm hosting the show, and I'm not. He giving me 10 minutes, 12 minutes, but I'm going along to get along to show everybody I can play along. I can play well with others. I can even take mistreatment, and I don't come to the internet and blow up on people like they think I do. Mm. Nigga, I didn't come to the internet up and bash him, homie. I just said what happened, and I hadn't really spoke on it no more since. Have Live Nation spoken to you at all? Uh, uh, yeah, they, they reached out to me, but I still haven't been paid. <laughs> so let me finish painting the picture for you, right? So I got all these weapons in Vegas. I got these weapons in San Diego. I come to Miami with these weapons. Man, they're not even giving me, uh, they're not even paying for my airline tickets. But so to give me $20 a show? Why, who would do that, homie? Nobody. Nobody. <laughs> but the disrespect. I'm, 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 I'm playing dumb to learn the game. I'm playing, how else I'm going to learn? How else I'm going to get this big stage? How else, right? So by the time we get to Miami, I had a movie producer uh, out of the Houston area book me for a show in Beaumont. I noticed Live Nation picked up, I noticed Live Nation picked up that show and put it on their website and they ain't got nothing to do with it. Mm. That's the second time. Now I'm pay, really paying attention. God damn it. Because, nigga, I'm doing numbers. So, T.K. Kirkland tell me uh, that the Live Nation executive was in the audience for the Miami show and they loved me. I had the weapons. I feel like that was, my, that was my worst show. I feel like that was my worst show. He said they loved me, right? So, when we get to Houston, we already know I got the problem with Houston PD. Yeah, we know. Everybody knows this, right? We know. So, when I get to Houston, it's at the, the House of Blues is in the same building where the Migo kid gets killed. It is, yeah. It so, is. when I get there, nigga, they got police and everything, homie. They won't let me bring my weapons in. They tripping with me hard about the weapons. They saying Live Nation. So I'm saying, well, Live Nation was at the show last night and they loved the weapons. You, I'm talking about they hard nose. I done Ubered to this event. So I'm standing out in front of the, the venue, nigga, people seeing me going crazy, approaching me, trying to get me to sign order. Real live move. Told me so they don't want me to come in at all with these weapons. And I got a bag full of weapons. So I'm saying, man, they going to treat a nigga like this? As if I'm coming in to do something to people, homie? Huh? the props. So my nigga come, I put him in the car. When I come back, they got the sheriff in HPD standing there. You know how they hold their vest right there? The energy that they yeah, giving out. Yeah. The energy I know that, that exact they, stance. Yeah, nigga, how they be holding. Yeah, homie. So the energy. So now I just got the lighter gun that you click in the fire. They don't even want, they being adamant about it and being ugly with it. So that's when I said, you know what? I told, so this is like July 25th. I told TK Kirkland in, my nigga, uh, I no longer want to do the Live Nation tour. I'm going to go finish out Dallas, and I was it. So I still ain't been paid from Vegas. I ain't been paid from Miami at this time. Now it's, hey, man, the check's in the mail. So I do Houston. I didn't, so I'm watching everybody get checks after the show, huh? Every show I'm watching niggas get checks. I'm the only one traveling with him. Come on now. Y'all follow me. Come on. 
Everywhere he going is like he picking up these comedians like a nigga would find a prostitute. Say, y'all, when we go to this city, we just go, we just not nah, check. So, so it's like this, homie. When we go to this city, we just go, go, we go, we go say, man, we just need some models to come for the video. We don't have no permanent models, so we really ain't got to pay them. But we got this one model with her. We go pay her, but you see what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm the only one going city to city to city with him. So every city he come, he just picking up comics. Mm. Like picking up some new hoes. <laughs> you ain't getting them that much, homie. They excited just to be on stage. They might be washed up has beens to get this little old seven hundred dollars. You had a, you had said something about the door. Ninety percent. He's probably that's what he said. I, so I start hearing him say that in his in his stand up that he get ninety percent of the door. So I'm saying to myself, homie, nigga, you sent me two fifty out of five shows. Yeah. How much were these shows? They're selling out. Uh, and five shows sold out. Like, and I remember the one we got to, they were like $79.99 a ticket. Nigga, some people paying 500 man, say, homie, Shit. they were charging $100. Man, listen, them, them tickets wasn't cheap, homie. Shit. And he wasn't selling them on his own. Nigga, it wasn't no frenzy for that nigga. It ain't never been no frenzy for TK Kirkland, my nigga. So uh, he do the same set every night. I ain't done the same set twice yet. I ain't done the same shit twice yet, nigga. I'm almost at 40 different shows from October to now. I ain't even a full year into this, my nigga. And I'm getting paid like a veteran comedian. So, so when we do the Miami show, uh, one, one of them shows he came, now the Houston show, he had some merch, but his merch don't sell. My merch sell. What kind of merch you have? Man, you know I got all the nigga nation merch, the nan nigga nan and boo boo. Nigga, I got, all the, I got Charleston White merch that sells off, of web, off a website. So, nigga, I got a, a whole company that makes my shit and ships it. Just my merch. Got that ships it to me no matter where I go. He ain't got that. He, so, uh, I, no, no, no. He, he got a cameraman in every city. Nigga, I pay a cameraman to travel with me. So every radio station, he's bragging about how I move as a man, how I got a team, uh, how I don't need help that I pay for this. He's bragging about that in every interview. So I'm just taking notes because I'm learning. I'm new. And I know anytime you're new at something, if you're new on a job, if you're new at a school, uh, if you nigga, uh, uh, the veterans and the people that's been there for a while look the fuck over you because you don't know. Uh, it's like a it's not it's like a not knowing fee because you don't know uh, because nobody is here to teach you to make you stronger than them. All that I put my arms around and give him opportunity. Nobody had to give me an opportunity, homie. I created these opportunities for me, for people to want to talk to me, for people to want to bond with me. So when we leave Houston, the treatment that I got from Houston, homie, I said, homie, they trying to line me up to get me hurt, to isolate me with no weapons backstage because they're not concerned about my security. So after the show, he take free pictures. Nigga, I charge $25 per picture and people stand in line to pay him. So as we're out there taking pictures, I'm out there accessible with no security. My security can't stand out there with their security shirts on, according to Live Nation. So I'm saying, man, who's coming up with these rules? So uh, TK Kirkland saying it's Live Nation, but how do I know that? He's the buffer between me and Live Nation. You, you see what I'm saying? So, so my mind, how, man, how I know this nigga ain't trying to line me up. I can't get my weapons back there. Nigga, I'm backstage. My team can't even come backstage. But nigga, he got a room full of bitches. He toasting and champagne and two backstage. <laughs> he got a room full of bitches. Drinking, giving champagne away to bitches, but nigga, my eighty-something-year-old grandmama can't come backstage to see her baby. And it's weird. I remember we came with the cameras, and they said, "Hey, bro, y'all can't bring these tripods in." I said, "Damn, I'd be more worried about the camera than the tripod." Like, yeah, nah, no tripods, and we had to jump through hell and high water to get that in. So I'm like, I know it was crazy. Homie, but, but, but so, so I'm saying, why would they think that? Why do they? Why do they? Why? Why are they so strict with this security for a comedian? Yeah, that's it. Wow. Did you ever think about going above him? Like uh, uh, uh above him for what? Just to see who's doing all this. Is it really uh him? he in it with the white folks, homie? Oh god. 
He in bed with them peck of wood, my nigga. Cause I'm finna tell you how. My publicist and jail, so we, they give me this big problem at the Houston location. So I'm saying, okay, they let me bring the weapons in Vegas. They let me bring the weapons in San Diego. They let me bring the weapons in Miami. I can't bring the weapons in Houston. So my publicists go up to the venue ahead of time to try to see what can we do, what we aren't allowed to do. All of a sudden, I get this big call from Live Nation's headquarters. They saying, man, somebody coming up there trying to see what can Charleston park it. Okay, for my security. Mm. Mm. So if y'all tripping this hard and y'all getting calls all the way from up here about something that haven't happened, why I can't get paid? Mm. Talk to y'all. Why, why y'all can't and y'all mailing checks? And when did people start mailing checks in today's time, homie? They say so, that. so, <laughs> so TK Kirkland lying when he said a check went to the wrong address. What 46 year old man gives the wrong address multiple times on money he waiting to be paid for? Nah, that right address coming. <laughs> what nigga do that, homie? And I've been living at the same address for almost 20 years. Yeah. My mailing address ain't just, so what, what, how I'm gonna get it? But what it was, homie, they wrote me a check, a handwritten check. Still ain't got paid from Vegas today. I still ain't been paid from Miami today. The check that they say got bounced was the Houston check that they wrote by hand that sat in the mail for two or three weeks. And I'm saying, man, who done hand wrote, who done wrote me a letter? I'm thinking one of these niggas from jail done wrote me. <laughs> um, I opened, cause it got H-O-B, such, 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 Houston, Texas. H-O-B. Goddamn hospital. <laughs> there you, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> House of Blues? <laughs> the venue House of Blues? Because Live Nation had a check after every show. They just bullshitting, homie. Nigga, they, nigga, so who, who determined that I get $750 per show? Why not tell me that up front so I can say, hey, no, I wouldn't want to spend $3,000 to get $750, guys. Right. Who, why wouldn't you tell me that up front? Hmm. Did they tell you that payments will come after shows or like? Why? Why you not telling me nothing? nothing. <laughs> hey man, just come be on the show. I'm playing dumb, saying okay, let's see how they go do this. Because why wouldn't you tell me? Okay, fam. Because every other job sits you down and say you get paid weekly or bi-weekly. Every other job, I'm filling out a 1099 as a subcontractor. Why wouldn't you inform me, Mr. T.K. Kirkland, you're teaching me and showing me the game. Why wouldn't you be very detailed like you're very detailed about what I can and can't do backstage? Mm. You also, you want me, I got a, I got a, I got a cannabis deal that's being offered. I got a hemp deal that I signed. I smoke marijuana to promote cannabis and hemp. You're asking me to stop a venture that I'm doing. Right? You want me to quit smoking weed, but you're not paying me. Yeah. You're not paying me. You want me to do all these things, but you're not paying me, Live Nation and Mr. T.K. Kirkland. And I'm doing everything y'all asking with a yes, sir, and a no, sir. So I'm curious, why will you now not, after everything you saw and learned from them, will you go forward saying, let me just do my own tour, book my own venue? I've been doing, I, listen, I was doing that. Yeah, yeah, you was already moving around. I did it for the resume. And because I thought that this black man was an honest, upstanding black man, almost 70 years old, go come give me the game. He only come to fuck over me. What did you learn from TJ? Uh, uh, I learned that he's a no good rotten motherfucker <laughs> and that he's a lying son bitch. And that nothing good can come to him in his old age, my nigga, because I played foul, I packed foul with that nigga from the time we sat with each other till now. I still ain't spoke bad on his name. I still, I bowed out gracefully, homie. I ain't went and bashed him. I can show you every text message. I can show you where he called my jeweler, KD the jeweler, and said, man, do you want me to get tell him I have Live Nation pay for him? He just texted him today and said, man, I'm going to pay for Charleston's daughter's chain he just bought for his birthday because he know he fucked over me, my nigga. And I spent a lot of money for that chain that he saw me post today for my daughter's birthday. He said, man, I'm going to pay for it. He ain't sent that money yet. 
He said he's still waiting on him. Nah, homie, he lying, my nigga. Sound like he want to make amends. Sound like he wants to. I, but, 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 but once you hurt me, you can't unhurt me, my nigga. So we don't need to make a man. Let's just stay away from each other. I never came and bashed Live Nation nor TK Kirkland. I was asked in an interview how and I said, I'm not with him anymore. I fulfilled my obligations. And I bowed out gracefully. Never said a word bad about nobody, homie. Why? Why not say that? Oh, uh, because I think that's the professional way to do it, homie. Uh, I, I, I learned what I need to learn, homie. Uh, that, that you got to get fucked over to learn in this game, homie. And, 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 and so uh, what I did was now uh, me and Sean Cotton doing our own tour. There you go. Y'all yeah, had a good birthday party. Yeah, we had a great birthday party. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, great. now me and Sean Cotton is doing our own tour, homie. Uh, I got to make great contacts. I got to meet some 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 nice people uh, in, in the comedy world, and they got to see that I'm nothing like people think I am and people say I am uh, in, in real life. So they got to see a, a, another side of Charleston, even Live Nation. Well, let's do it then. Hey, let me ask this because I want to work from present and work backwards. Um, I got to ask you because you know we spoke, and I know you're going to go out there and do the Danza project. Uh, with Brittany Renner. And um, yeah. I was looking forward to whatever was about to come of that. And then uh, what came of that came. And yeah. uh, here you go. Hey, real, real quick, fix your necklace too because it's just bugging me. Throw it on the other side of your microphone. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just, uh, it's just bugging me. Well, uh, Charles, they, they, I see the, the, the internet's going crazy right now saying Brittany Renner had a meltdown. Brittany Renner uh, just went insane. Uh, all this and mind you, we spoke on Brittany Renner on this platform. Yeah, I think you spoke. The internet's on- stupid. Uh, Brittany Renner didn't have no meltdown, homie. Uh, she she played on us. Uh, <laughs> yeah, she was bull. Nah, homie, she was bullshitting. You think so? I I was there, nigga. She wait 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 wait. She, was alcohol not involved? I'm just curious. Uh, homie, she wasn't that drunk. Say, homie, you talking? You talking to some? You talking? Come on, homie, she wasn't that drunk. Damn. Because when she went outside, nigga, everything changed. When the cameras went off and she got in her motherfucking Uber, nigga, she, man, I said, oh, homie, she done played on everybody. Damn. So wait, wait. On um, Back in 2021, you had an interview with uh, Say Cheese where you said, if Brittany Renner ever hop in my DM, oh, I'm, oh, it's, it's, it's pound town. We going, we going there. Yeah. The She gets put in front of you. Yeah. And she commences to just do what she does. Yeah. Fully presented. What's going on in your head like where this person that you say, hey man, if she ever, and she's right yeah, here she now, uh, she's doing a shit. Oh uh, yeah, she gonna get me in trouble. <laughs> uh, and, and, and then and then I thought, uh, I'm being used for viral content. Uh, uh she's very clever. Mm. Uh, and she took advantage. Uh, when, when the last time have you seen a viral in, in the headlines? It's, it's been, been a while, a, right? It's been a while. Yeah, she took advantage, nigga. She checkmated it all of. Damn. Yeah, she checkmated all of my nigga. Yeah, I, it took me, it took me, it took me half a day to realize that because, <laughs> because, because when she got in the Uber, I'm saying, man, what she just, nigga, she ain't the same person that was just in now. Mm. Nah, nigga. And then when I played back everything, uh, yeah, nah, homie, she uh, nigga, she was playing on us, uh, and she got a good manager. Mm. Who yeah. was behind the scenes with uh, Shane? Uh, oh, that, that was Shannon Briggs. Yeah, Shannon Briggs. Uh, yeah. Got See, uh, it, it's just like when I pulled a gun on DJU. Yeah. Homie, listen. Nah, nigga, she, she listen. Listen, homie, she she played on uh, my nigga. She, the internet is a fool. Because now she's in the headlines. She is. And she, she is. booming like a motherfucker. Oh, she is. Uh, think about this, my nigga. How many girls you know got a multi-million dollar baby daddy? Hey. hey. Right? <laughs> uh, mo- most of us as parents, we'll make whatever sacrifices w- we'll make just so our children can have a great life. Sure. Her son got a, is taken care of forever. She seemed pretty impressed by you, though. She seemed uh, like visually impressed by you. Yeah, she, 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 uh, uh, her, her and Kevin Gates got a got a good relationship. <laughs> so, so Kevin Gates be real fun to me. So, uh, in, in her mind, I'm a real nigga, mm. uh, and, and I am. Uh, uh, it, it's the mind, homie. It, it, it wasn't. A, it, 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 it's the mind, homie. But it wasn't that she's fun to nothing. Nigga, she fun to what that camera will do. 
So the water incident, because I'm like, damn. She, listen to me, homie. Shit, man. Listen to me. She was playing. Mm. It's just like Charleston White when he get on these things, nigga, and go off and storm out. It ain't no different, nigga, when I jump up and kick the wine over. <laughs> right. Right. It ain't no different when I cock the gun. <laughs> nigga, she good. So you weren't in on it at the time of, though. You, like, uh, it's happening nigga, real uh, time. So no, 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 None of us know each other, homie. I don't, I don't know. You're guy. very respectful. Uh, You're I'm, very I'm respectful. Very, uh, homie, I... I, I I had to peep game because if you watch the whole interview, uh, she went into that role. So nigga, everything was peaceful, cool, dialoguing, uh, very intellectual, uh, very good. So uh, sh nigga, she saw by the line of questioning what where they trying to go. So nigga, yeah. she went in the role. It ain't no nah, nigga. Listen, <laughs> uh, she played on me. She played on, on the two guys in the Danza Project. She played on everybody in that room to get her desired outcome. So, uh, and she played on the internet. So on so a Charleston used, White she level. Used, she used Charleston White lap dancing and shit on me for a viral moment. Uh, yeah, nah, <laughs> homie. Uh, because, because nigga, she walked away in the dark. Disappeared. We'll mm. never see her again. Do you give her kudos for the, the, the play she did? Like for the internet to be talking about all the shit that happened? Uh, you give her credit for, like, she pulled a charge away. Uh, let me just say this, homie. Uh, she way sharper than what y'all think she is. Mm -hmm. I, everybody typing, talking about, nah, homie, she ain't no dingbat. <laughs> uh, nigga, how many bitches or how many hoes you know got a multi-millionaire baby daddy? How the fuck she done? Yeah. And half you hoes got a nigga that's behind on child support. How she dumb and half you whole fucking a nigga that can't even pay the bills. Man, this whole playing on stage, man. Mm. And that whole know how to tap into her inner whole spirit and hoe to get where she trying to go. Mm. Nigga, her son is taking care of for the rest of his motherfucking life, nigga. His daddy just got a 30, what, a down to what 48 kind of, million or something? Come on now. 48 million. The more daddy get in, he the first born baby. Yeah. She ain't no dumb bra, my nigga. <sighs> So I had to sit back and look at this shit, my nigga. Yeah, she heard when I said she in my top three. She go play on that, nigga. <laughs> yeah, she heard. But what she saw is, I ain't the kind of nigga that's trying to fuck on her. Mm -hmm. Nigga, I ain't, I wasn't, yeah. I wasn't into what niggas thought I was, nigga. I'm trying to see her angle. Because nigga, she know how to captivate the room. So what I had to do was, I said, man, when she went on this stage with this nigga, she was different. When she went on stage with this nigga, she was different. She went on stage, nigga, she playing con. So overall, were you impressed by Brittany Renner or let down? Uh, I'm very much impressed how she playing con, nigga. <laughs> Just like everybody think I'm a snitch. See, the internet think I'm a real weenie. So when niggas approach me in, a, in real life, nigga, they get treated differently because they think I'm a weenie. The internet really thinks she what they they really think she's what she is, and I'm telling y'all, nigga, she ain't. All right, let's now, go. Now, uh, a meltdown. No, nigga. <laughs> she rerouted the questions. Yeah. Why y'all? Because she told y'all. She told us from the beginning, I'm not going to get on here and talk about my baby daddy like that. Mm. All the questions went to back to that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Nigga, it was way more shit they could have talked about. We just come out of Phoenix, Arizona. Me, Mason niggas, hit niggas over the head. Nigga, that could have that could have kept it way more. Yeah. So, nigga, so what she saw was in the beginning when she said, well, why you hate me? And he couldn't come out and directly say why he hate her. Yeah. Yeah, you kind of spoke for him. Yeah, you, well, well, it, 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 it. You spoke for us. It, it put, it put, it put everybody in the category at that point. So when them two couldn't come out and say, yeah, man, I hated you because motherfucker thought they tiptoed around. So somebody like her. Uh, no, no, bitch, this is why I hated you. <laughs> now nah, I control the room. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, Damn. so, uh, nah, 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 homie, she, uh, she played drunk. Yeah, she played drunk. There you go. Yeah, man. she played God drunk, damn, homie. Uh, yeah, nah, nah, she played drunk. And, well, uh, and, and she good, and she good at what she do. Uh, and, and, and she, she reached her desired outcome. Yeah, I feel, I said, yeah, nigga, I said, yeah, nigga, I feel, yeah, she got us. Well, she played on me. Shout out, Brittany. Did, did, did you get aroused at all? I'm just, I'm just curious. It was people are saying that Brittany 
trying to twerk on you was unsexy. That was not it. It was not. Who said that? The internet. You know. What? You what, know, what? Who? Some typing motherfuckers. Oh, uh, them, them must be the robots. <laughs> Them must be the robots. <laughs> Who on the internet saying that? God. In they right mind. Who's saying that? Hey, no facts, facts, facts. It must be them AI robots, my God nigga. God yeah, God they damn, just bro. typing some shit. Yeah, they just want to say some shit. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. Disgusted. They just they just trying to get in the conversation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh man, well, shout out Brittany Ritter, man. Turn it up, man. And um, yeah, shout out to the Danza Project, homie. Oh, uh, shout out to the Danza Project for real. Oh, uh, he. They 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 called her manager in, in the beginning because they thought she would have a problem with being on 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 a podcast with me, and uh, now she made it very clear that she didn't, she didn't have no problem, uh, and she was actually excited uh, about doing it. So that let me know, nigga. Every action y'all saw on that podcast was premeditated, and it's good and great for content. Uh, there you go. Uh, it, it it probably would it probably would get her. Nigga, if not a hundred, two hundred thousand dollars worth of interview money. Oh yeah, yeah. just to go talk about that. Brittany, Brittany's uh, up right now. Uh, Brittany's uh, up right that's now. That's what I'm saying. So, nigga, just for just for me to talk about it, I might get another fifty, sixty thousand dollars. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, man, right. what was it like? Yeah, yeah, so, what was it? Uh, yeah. Tell us about it. Tell us about yeah, it. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, nah, now, homie. Every man, everybody playing, my nigga. Yeah. So if you ain't getting played on, you getting played with, my nigga. And I, I, I want to touch on the Aiden Ross. Thing, but before I even touch on that, man, I, I want to speak on Mesa, Arizona. Uh, y'all did a crazy number for that city. Um, I think most fights happen in New York, Vegas, uh, elsewhere, uh, Arlington. Y'all took it to Mesa and really put on a motherfucking show. Um, yeah, now Charleston, yeah, I have yeah. to ask because you know, even me and us, you know, we had said, man, we paid good money to watch this pay per view. Shout out Sean Cotton, he got out there, but the real show was Charleston White's fight. We've been following you. We've been watching your training regimen. You've been going in like a motherfucker. But the fight does not happen. Oh. Uh, man, the nigga kept trying to fight outside the ring. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> did, uh, he, did, he, did he personally hate you for something? Like, or did man, he feel like hey, he, like, I, I could, let me, let me do him dirty on camera before the fight. Uh, like, what, what? Well, me and, me, me, me and the nigga don't know each other, homie, for him to have them type of feelings. Uh, and, and, and I wouldn't get no nigga. See, I get to pick who I want to fight. So mm. why would I give a nigga an opportunity to make this kind of money and he really want to hurt me? Mm. You can't make this kind of money without me, nigga. These people didn't pick you. You're a nobody. Nobody knows your name. If I walk away right now, nobody want to see you fight. Mm. Hey. See what I'm saying? So hey. why would I go pick a nigga who really want to hurt me? Other than just maybe if we want to box and fight for good entertainment, mm. just to be boxing good. But nigga, you trying to hurt me look like, or you trying to embarrass me or whatever you trying to do. Why would I pick you and put you on stage to do this to me? Mm. Come up. And... Come on, my nigga. Did you ever was let's, so let's just box. Why are you trying to do all this shit outside of it? Why? That's all I want to know. Why is this nigga trying to do all this outside the ring? Mm. It seemed like he hated you. <laughs> like this. But for what though? <laughs> nigga, we don't know each other. Yeah, like, Maybe because you a Mason motherfucker. <laughs> well, I ain't made nigga, we don't know each other. <laughs> nigga, I gave you an opportunity. Cause I could have easily said, nah, I don't know that nigga. I don't want to fight him. His numbers ain't up. Mm. A lot of people want to make an example of you, it seems like. Oh, uh, I well, can't wait. Uh, someone well, got someone telling them, hey, oh man, Charleston, oh, you gonna do him. Uh well, why they why they talk first then? <laughs> if they really want to do that, why they have a conversation with me first? Why don't they just walk up and hit me in the mouth? <laughs> if they really want to make an example out of me, why don't nobody just walk up and Nigga, <laughs> why? Why do they say something first? Because you're dangerous. <laughs> uh, obviously, they don't think I'm dangerous. Yeah, that force field around y'all. <laughs> uh, so, so uh, that that whole that whole boxing match was really centered around me. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was the highest paid fighter. Uh, nobody was getting six figures like me. Uh, yeah, yeah, nah, homie. I was, we bought tickets to watch. Yeah. Everybody you and, did. You and Sean Cotton. It's like, yeah, 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 y'all yeah. two were the, you know, yeah, hey. Yeah, uh, everybody did. So the, the first day, 
They put us all at the same hotel. That was the, oh, that was the, that's that was, what it was. Y'all just in the fucking same hotel with each other. That was the first mistake, nigga. They God put us all damn. at the same hotel. Damn. Well, I don't know what niggas travel with just their hands. Facts. Nigga, when I get to the hotel, I'm going to get a wine corkscrew with the metal thing that go and you twist. I'm going to get that where if I punch you, I can punch, punch you through your jaw. I'm going to get some kind of weapon, my nigga. <laughs> I'm not walking around this motherfucker at 119 pounds with no weapon. And by the way, he weigh in at 142. I weigh in at 119. Yeah. So that's the weight class. Yeah, it's the problem. <laughs> Shit. So when y'all saw us in the pool, did you see how he couldn't manhandle me in that pool? Yeah, I saw that, yeah. Did yeah. you see at 140 something? Yeah, that water do it to you. <laughs> Listen, homie, no. He thought he would just go grab me and throw me in the pool. I grabbed him by his head. We going together. And he felt that strength. <laughs> we coming in together. I even muscled him up out the pool. Even when we boxing, nigga, he had to grab me. Yeah. Right? So he 30 pounds more than me and he can't handle me. You saw that wrestling. That nigga pulled been had it. This nigga 140 something. I'm 119, homie. But I'm still taking the fight. As we slap boxing, I ain't got no guard, nothing. At any time, he can punch me in my eye with a finger, and I'm out forever. Oh, yeah. Come on, homie. So why you trying to do this, my nigga? Yeah. You can ruin me forever just wanting to play. That's you want to shout about one little scratch, homie, can blind me for the rest of my life. Yeah, I ain't think about that. God damn. Okay. Okay, you trying to hurt me then, nigga, so you going get hurt fucking with me. <laughs> so you want to fight me, my nigga, knowing I'm disabled, knowing I'm visually impaired, you really want to fight. Well, I ain't got no head, girl, no nothing. Yeah, you going to get your head bust open, boy. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> hey, what's crazy is the, the, the pig poker, I didn't know the pig poker had that even if I seen it, I wouldn't know what that fuck I, that's I called. Keep, you see what that is? Yeah, bro. Do you see that? Come look at that. Yeah, well, Do yeah, you well, see that, homie? Yeah, zoom in on camera. That's if, what punctured his head. <laughs> homie, that's what punctured his head. This right here. Yeah. What the? Is that what it's for? This, what a, the fuck? this a pig poker. Shit. No, I'm saying the other end. Is that? No, that ain't what it's for. Oh, but, but nigga, homie, <laughs> if me and you get into it and I ain't got nothing, nigga, this is a weapon, nigga. <laughs> this is a weapon, nigga. This belt buckle. Yeah. This is a weapon, nigga. I ain't ever. If this is a weapon, nigga so when facts. I'm looking around and you fucking with me, everything is a weapon, nigga. Man. Why God. you trying to play tough? See, this is what most niggas don't know, homie. If y'all heard that nigga in the pool when we were wrestling, y'all heard that nigga say, "Ah, he trying to bite me, nigga." I will fit a bite a piece of meat out that nigga jaw. Man, you know, man, nigga, man. you don't want, nigga. You if go back and you heard that nigga in the pool say, "Ah, he trying to bite me." Ah, uh, you trying, you trying. To I was gonna bite a piece of meat out that nigga jaw, homie. Oh shit! <laughs> because nigga, you just trying to win a fight. I'm trying to hurt you, nigga. It's a difference. You want to say, "Oh, in the process of you knocking me out, you go get stabbed in the jaw." <laughs> right. <laughs> Same time, ain't you like gonna that. have a hole in your neck? Shit, you gonna have a hole on top of your head? Cause you just trying to fight. I'm gonna hurt you, homie. You gonna lose an eye like me? Just trying to put. Cause that's what I'm gonna do to you, my nigga. Ugh, God damn. <laughs> to let you know to leave me alone and let the next motherfucker man leave him alone. The nigga knocked him out, lost the eye. Mm. So he up there playing with his little girlfriend with no weapons. Thinking I'm a weenie, not knowing I got all kind of weapons, <laughs> nigga. See, I got and I know how to use anything as a weapon. So as I'm walking off, so this is the first time, nigga. So at the at the at the way in, I ain't got the mace for him. People forget I'm on the West Coast. Mm -hmm. Nigga, I'm watching nigga with eight tray on their arm. I'm seeing all these LA gang members here, nigga. You think I'm finna walk through this crowd? Walk through this motherfucking crowd, my nigga. Without yeah, without. Walk through this crowd and let I'm accessible oh, now. Oh shit! It's oh it's oh it's, it's a glove. It's a glove. Oh shit! Oh nigga, I didn't know. 
You think I'm gonna walk through this crowd, my nigga? Oh shit! All these I'm on the West Coast, nigga. Now they got action at me. He think he just go buy, nigga. He think I got this for him, nigga. This for these niggas in the crowd that's gonna try to do something to me, nigga. Just in case. So I want my outfit to disguise this. Oh shit! I want a, I want a boxing outfit because it hung over my hands to disguise this, homie. Oh, this is smart, man. <laughs> Come on, nigga. I'm thinking strategic before we get there. Oh shit. So this ain't for him. This for some niggas in the crowd that want to fuck with me, and they can't see me concealing these weapons with these long, with this robe on. Yeah. So nigga, when he do what he do, oh nigga, I can't wait to get back on stage to squirt him. But I was, I, I just hit it, and I was too far. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> then I get a little closer and get his ass. And y'all know, nigga, I can shoot this right now. Y'all, I did it here before. Yeah, yeah, we, we done it. Yeah, we felt Come it. Come on, homie, this is jail. It's going to take five to ten minutes before it really start dispersing in the room. Oh, man. Nigga, so if you watch the whole video, I cleared that whole motherfucking, that, that whole motherfucking place was cleared out, homie, 15 minutes later. The owners was mad at me. Uh, God, uh, the Arizona Boxing Commission. So this, this was some serious shit, homie. So USA Boxing was involved in this. The yeah. Arizona State Commission boxing was involved with this. So nigga, these the 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 the, the real USA boxing doctors was there. Damn. So nigga, we had to see doctors do the physical. So I'm so nigga, we had to really get registered as real professional as as real professional boxers to fight amateur fights. Would you have had the mace somehow available on the in the boxing ring? Oh, uh, well, you got gloves. You got gloves on your hands. So yeah, how, how can you have a mace? I'm just saying, the, boxing it's, it's the way you conceal these motherfucking weapons. Oh, uh, but you got boxing gloves. So how, how can you squeeze the mace with boxing gloves? Very interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, you got boxing gloves so, on. Huh? So you did get disqualified. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now the the Arizona Commission wasn't playing with me, homie. Oh, uh, they 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 were very upset. Would, uh, you, would you fight them again? Uh, like if there's a rematch? No. <laughs> Yeah, you wanted. Uh, uh, we, we didn't even get to fight the first time. Yeah, yeah, right, right, so, right. So, yeah. so, so, why, why, why would I fight a nigga that fucked off our bag? Man, damn, that's facts. Why would I fight this nigga? All he had to do was just wait to get to the ring if he wanted to fight that bad. So I'm thinking maybe he was scared because he just started training, homie. Would you have still wanted either Boosie Ti for that celebrity match? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, yeah. This. So I'm saying, homie, if this nigga really wanted to fight, why was all these antics outside the ring? I, I Nobody you, else was doing this. Yeah, I was talking about, man, because it's good to sell a fight, because I think uh, Logan Paul threw a cake at- uh, Homie, we ain't got to sell a fight. Yeah, but I say it's already sold. Now, <laughs> come on, homie, we ain't got to sell it. <laughs> see trying to... Nigga, after the pool incident, we ain't got to sell it. You think he was just an amateur and weigh in like- Homie, you know, I don't know what he is. I don't know this nigga, homie. I don't know him. Have you ever gave somebody that many L's before? Like- Oh, uh, no. Nah, so, <laughs> no. Nah, uh, no, nah, homie. So when, so, when we coming off the elevator, I'm looking to my left at a guy's phone with my phone in my hand. We looking at something for to give each other, each other Instagram, right? So, I can't see this as him. We coming off the elevator. So as he's approaching me, when I look, as I'm looking over to him, I see his hand coming up. So I try to dap him, thinking he's trying to get some dap. He go past my hand and mush me. <laughs> so he done tried to sucker punch me. <laughs> nigga, but my girl right there. So nigga, when he mushed me, she dug down to get out the way. Cause she already know what it is. Oh yeah, oh, she, she, she Man, already know. She already know. God damn. So you pulled out, I guess either the poker or a knife. And I hit him with the poker. Oh uh, well, that, was, that, 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 outside that, the hotel. We was on our way to the weigh in. Mm. That's when he approached me with all trying to show out for the rap niggas. So you knew what it was, homie. Why you trying to fight me, knowing I got one eye? That's all I want to know. Hmm. You know I got one eye. You know I'm smaller than you. Why are you trying to fight me instead of box? Well, we can put some head girl on. Why, why are you trying to fight me? Because, nigga, you go die. You playing, young boy. For whatever reason you showing out, you go get a hole stuck in you, nigga. Because you, you playing with a nigga that's going nigga really, to hurt you for real, my nigga. So, nigga... I paused and waited to hit him right 
right on top of his head. Go back and watch it, nigga. I was yeah, yeah. That motherfucker was a motherfucker. That... I was nigga. I was waiting, to, nigga. In my mind, come on. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> nigga, I'm talking about nigga. I will pause and do. go back and watch it. Nigga, I will cut. I will. He. I let my woman get out the way. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nigga, think about it. <laughs> and nigga picked that motherfucker backpack right back up. No. It's like he went in reverse and went back into the elevator. I <laughs> thought about it. Say, <laughs> man. It. So Damn. I'm saying now I can think. Because this is what I said to myself. What y'all didn't see on the screen, homie, was it was a whole hotel lobby conference place with elite black people. Mm. The Omega Capitals or whatever they were, homie. It was the Q dogs. Yeah. Homie, it was hundreds of them there. Oh. Homie, these are some of the most professional people we know on earth is black. Why this nigga do this real, right? And we in an Arizona State University with number white. Homie, why this nigga doing this? God damn. So now, nigga, I'm on, I'm finna put a hole in you now, nigga. God damn. Come on, nigga. <laughs> Come on. I'm gonna poke you like this. I'm gonna hit you like this. And nigga, I really wanna hit you on top of your head like this, nigga. Cause why you steady fucking with me, nigga, and you ain't really ready? You fucking with a nigga that practice and play with this shit, that buy weapons every week, nigga. Buy guns once, nigga, I live for this. And you playing with me, nigga. You better stay in the rain where we can have fun. Cause yeah. it ain't fun out here. You had you had uh, trained a lot for this fight. Like, yeah, you posted the videos, you was really going. Nigga, I was waking up every day driving an hour and a half, homie. That's just to get there. Yeah. And then another hour and a half back. Nigga training for two and three hours. Nigga going through it since May. Were you frustrated that you couldn't get, get, get shit, just let a little bit of that steam off? Man, when Sean Cotton got knocked out, nigga, because I was supposed to have been the last fight. When Sean, when Sean Cotton got knocked out, homie, I, I was mad because I couldn't fight. Oh, man. Because, nigga, I want to show, homie. I want to show, mom. Nah, homie, these niggas really ain't, they ain't got, but they can't stand in front of me. And I'm a little nigga, homie. <sighs> when I saw that nigga didn't have the strength in that pool, I said, oh, he gonna lose. He nigga can't whoop me. He, he ain't got the strength, my nigga. Mm. A nigga my side gonna have some problem with me. Talk about. And that nigga had some problem with me. That's why he kept trying to prove, homie. Mm. If he felt like he had really done what he, he wouldn't have, he would have just waited to the ring. Mm. And then, nigga, you said you trying too hard. You trying too motherfucking hard, nigga. I want to keep coming up, show. Now, biggest facts. I'm curious, what are your thoughts? When you see um, the Sean Cotton situation, um, and shout out Sean because uh, Bosco, Sean, Bosco pulled out a week before. Uh, Bosco can't fight. Yeah, I'm uh, like, I didn't know what that fight was going to be. Bosco, Nina Boy, neither one yeah, of them can't. Sean Cotton go knock them out. Uh, Lil Woody is an ugly nigga that's been fighting all this motherfucking life. All my and just, life. And I just to look to across the ring at that nigga there <laughs> is intimidating. <laughs> yeah. You and that nigga stand up. <laughs> Sitting there looking at them motherfucking gloves, <laughs> touching gloves. Man, that's intimidating motherfucking shit. Some nigga go lose right there. The, the, Wood, Wood when it came to our platform, he had his hair braided. <sighs> then he had that shit in a little mini fro. I said, oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> Three little manila. Man. God damn it. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, that nigga look like a real monkey. A orangutan. Uh, oh, shit. That nigga hard start right here. <laughs> yeah, that nigga hard start right here and go up. Oh. And then back. So now nah, that nigga sitting there, I said, man, shit. <laughs> I whispered in the room. Oh, Tay, man. Oh, uh, say so, it's a lot of niggas been winning fights because they ugly. Oh, so a whole lot of niggas just, man, they win fight off the bat because they ugly and don't let them frown up. Oh, shit. Oh. Uh, did you give it, did you did you give Sean Conn any words of encouragement before that fight? Hell yeah. <laughs> jab him. Keep that jab out there on him. And I went and, and I went and whispered. And that little monkey is real. And she said, hey, man, take it easy on my boy. Man, he ain't his first time fight. This is my first time fighting, too. No, it ain't. Nigga, you talking about boxing. You been fighting all your life, nigga, because people been talking about you. Uh, Sean Cotton ain't never had no fight, my nigga. Sean Cotton is a, is a, is a money getting MySpace technology digital kid. Yeah. So he ain't never had a real street fight. 
So just the fact that homie he'll get up and go in the ring and never had a street fight, that nigga got some nuts, my nigga. Got some nuts for the world. Got some nuts. Homie just to go in there and be willing to take punches, and he ain't never been punched on before. Uh, and and, and he really didn't drop him, my nigga. The yeah. nigga went in there with army boots on. I seen the boots. <laughs> Them boots. This nigga got on. I told I saw him son kind daddy, man. I saw Philly dog. I should say he pop. Goddamn boots. He said, man, I told that boy. Boy didn't listen. Yes, he said, man, I told that boy. Boy won't listen. I said, man, pop that nigga know he ain't supposed to have them motherfucking boots on, man. Shout out Philly dog. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, it seemed to have a tie up. Like tie that shit in a double knot. It seemed like it was the land of the goddamn man, fight. That, man, them goddamn uh, army mountain boots got too much grip in her in the bed. I like playing in the bed, nigga, with your boots on. Man, that's man, you can't jump on the mattress, nigga, and turn. Nah, it's too much grip. Man, all them ridges and shit at the end of nah, man, that nigga supposed to have on them smooth surface shoes where he can glide and slide. Man, that nigga knees was locking up with them goddamn boots on. <laughs> Flow and like then a listen, sting like a bee. Then listen, uh, <laughs> man, the, the commission was too strict too, man. Uh, what they the, saying? Man, listen, because, man, the commission was too strict, so they disqualified me, and nigga, they had real professional rules on us. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, for Sean, so, for so, Sean, yeah. So, so this is how serious that shit was, homie. So they had, they had, they had three, three celeb, they had three professional fights. They had real three professional fights, three amateurs, and three celebrities. Yeah. All uh, right. Nigga, the commission refused to be there for our bullshit. <laughs> Because they left, in their mind, we disrespecting the sport. Uh, and then, homie, they 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 had to uh, nigga, they had to do a lot to get the doctors uh, to waive me to fight. Oh, I see. Yeah. You, you see what I'm saying? So, so in, in order to do that, the commission didn't want to be in on that. Ah. Uh, and, and, and and shout out to Arizona Commission, man. I apologize to y'all too, man. They gave Tyson a chance. The too, boy man. still was fucking with me. Uh, but now, nah, man. Uh. Because they 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 honor and respect the sport of boxing, uh, and, and so for for them to have to have cut some corners uh, to to put this event on, uh, they didn't want their hands involved. Yeah, it seemed uh, like Sean only lost because he didn't look back at the ref. And well, that's look back that, at the that, ref as a well. Rule. That's what happened. So 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 a standing eight count, the bell can't save you. So uh, Sean got knocked down, and and Sean and. It, Say, hey, man, the nigga thought he was still in practice. The nigga turned his back and was talking to the coach now. The ref talking, two, three. He turned around and spit his mouthpiece out. Talk back around. Man, they can't let you keep fighting over. Fight over. And they mind this nigga in another world. But he ain't. But he did. He do this in practice. Yeah, he, like this. he do this in practice. So he ain't really knocked out. Man, he just, <laughs> he just and coaching him like, man. What? I thought we play, I thought we messing around. Yeah, man. So when he turned back around and they saying fight, he like, man. Come on, Sean. You can't do that, man. I want to. Yeah, man. I want to kick off a fight in the stands when that Damn. nigga lost, man. Damn. <laughs> what? What about uh, Amaretta and old girl? They just got to tussling. It yeah, they fucking each other, boy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, them two little girl guys. I love Amaretta to death. And shout out to Mama Amaretta King. Yeah. Uh, but nah, man, they were fighting like they fucking each other, nigga. Nigga, that's man, I'm saying, man, that was the hardest fight. They got disqualified because the ref, they wouldn't listen to the ref, and the ref couldn't break them up. They need to run that back. They need to run that back. Yeah, they need to run that Fuck back. The ref. They need no. Nah, they need to go. They need to go to a state. Where the commission won't be so strict. Yeah. Uh, because every state got a different boxing commission. Uh, Arizona just ain't playing, homie. Uh, and then we was in Tempe, out, you know, right out. So, you know, uh, you know, not to bring up their history, but they don't take too kind of niggas. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't take too kind of niggas out there in the mountains and deserts. But they got plenty of niggas now. But now, nah, homie. Uh, and then they, 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 they wasn't, they, they wasn't too fond of me coming based off the persona. Mm. Uh, but 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 I, I brought I brought an element of 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 I wouldn't say an element of fear, but a lot of mystique uh, that made all the powers to be uh, intrigued and interested and in, in, in wanting to talk to me and, and wanting to know me. Yeah. Uh, so 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 I walked away. Uh, 
I walked away with a lot of major uh, connections uh, in the sports world. Uh, I walked away from Arizona with a with a with a with a liquor deal on the table. Oh hell yeah! Oh hell uh, yeah! Shout out y'all. Uh, yeah, 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 nigga, my my life about to change forever. Uh, more more than what it already has. Uh, uh, thanks to Arizona. I tell you this, you can sell the motherfucking fight. I watch any fight that you do from now on. Shit, Straight up, fight, nigga. You, you could be a ring announcer. We watch that motherfucker like a bitch. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Man, they uh. Uh. I, I'm gonna be more in sports. Just, just, just. just okay. Yeah, I, I'm gonna be. I, I'm gonna be doing more, more ring announcing, commentating, uh, Come on now. Uh, sports announcing. Uh, and, and, I, and you got my dollar. Uh, and, <laughs> and, 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 and I'm not through boxing, so. Uh, yeah, so, so I, 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 I at least got another three, three to five fights in me. So now, nah, I man, I'm taking this real serious. Ooh. So, uh, you got opponent in mind? You got. Uh, I, I can't say, okay, but but okay, but, okay. but but so Soldier Boy signed a contract to fight me. Ooh, uh, so so that's just that's, that's just one person. I, I had I hadn't signed yet. Um, who do you think you would just do that do dirty in the ring? Uh, I, I don't know, homie. Uh, mm. I don't know who can't fight. That will fight. <laughs> yeah, that's real. That's real. Cause that's the only that's the only way you can do a nigga dirty, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A nigga who can't fight that will fight. <laughs> Go get in this ring. You know what I'm mean? saying? Uh, other than that, uh, you want a good show. Uh, you don't want no uneven match, homie. You want two vipers, nigga. See this? See this? The problem in the hood, homie. E- even in jail, you even in boxing, you hardly ever see the two vipers get in the pit. That's true. That's it's right. always a viper and, then, and, uh, and some weaker. Up. Yeah, yeah. it ain't put give us two vipers, nigga, and let them fight. Mm. We that's hardly right. ever see that. You know why? Because one of them end up getting Earl Spence. Ugh. And they want to preserve that legacy. They want to preserve that, that reputation. That's why two niggas in prison, when one of them bad, another one bad, nigga, they politic. Mm. They knock me and you out on the spot. <laughs> They DP me and you right then and there. <laughs> but when it's time to DP, now nah, we go to politics. Yeah, yeah, because niggas, because niggas, somebody's reputation on the line. And that's why a lot of rappers are avoiding getting in that ring, my nigga, because there's a lot of reputations on the line. Man, speaking of politics, uh, there's a guy who was walking the stairs. His name is Starlight. He's been on this couch before. He was TSF, or he's TSF now. He was some, with some dudes from the West Coast that said, man, keep Nipsey's name out your mouth. I Shout made, out Dewberry. I maced the shit out yeah, of Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because them niggas, they was, like you said, they was talking and walking away. You know, you, you know this, homie. They, the, the, the first angle was from their view. Yes. Very true. So, nigga, we out there don't know they recording, homie, as they walking up. So they walking up with, with Sauce walking them, homie. Or uh, uh, shout out to Papa Sauce. Yeah. So, nigga, me and Papa Sauce been kicking it for the last day, what, probably all that day. Yeah. <laughs> me and Papa Sauce, we for the, man, we talking, you know, we putting money plans together, nigga. Yeah. Uh, me and Sauce, you know, we, 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 we Bouncing ideas and, and, and me and his manager and them, you know, we talking that talk because we know uh, what me and him on the car to do together. Mm. Me and what me and Sauce on the car to do, nigga, uh, mm. no matter who our opponents is. So, nigga, we talking that talk, you know, yeah. uh, that big dog uh, boardroom talk. Yeah. So for this to happen later on that day, uh, I know Papa Sauce and him ain't bullshitting. Cause you know when me and Sauce was going at each other, uh, and I was fucking with the nigga, or uh, fucking with them TSF niggas. Papa Sauce tell Walt, nigga, I don't care what you do or what you say about no nigga. Let that nigga there make it. Leave him alone. <laughs> he just for nigga, I peep game. That nigga there just so Papa Sauce one of the first ones to peep the play and peep the game about what I was doing. Mm. So that's why Sauce never just really, you know, we just never really went in on one another. Yeah. Uh, Cause I recognize, he recognize, uh, yeah, that I know he know. Yeah. So we done even seen each other in Houston, nigga. You know, next door he had Johnny Dang, I'm over here with the niggas. Uh, yeah, yeah, say man, Sauce next door. I said, now nah, I don't want to do nothing right now cause Johnny Dang gonna get all the credit, nigga. But let it know, nigga, we gonna do something. So we've been quietly, uh, you know, uh, aligning some shit together. So when 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 this nigga heard do that, homie, 
in my mind, I don't know who he is. I just know he with my TSF niggas. Yeah. And all of them got on red with sauce wood winning on the back. <laughs> Cute in the motherfucker. <laughs> and all that goddamn red. So, nigga, I'm saying, man, why would they do that? And we've been kicking. Uh, so I'm, you know, man, uh, nigga, I was confused. <laughs> Oh, for real. Nigga, Dewberry snapped me back to rally when <laughs> Dewberry said, well, do something then. Nigga, he scared. Goddamn, dude. <laughs> shit. The nigga scared me. Oh, uh, so shit. Get yeah. On your pivot. Get on your nigga toe. scared. Do something then. Nigga, watch me work. Nigga scared me. So, nigga, uh, yeah, I just went to shoot mace. Yeah, Dewberry scared me. Huh? Yeah, them niggas didn't. Dewberry scared the shit out of me. Oh, uh, yeah, I just went to shoot mace. Yeah, I just went into action. <laughs> now, now, now Saul Sa said he um he he got with the nigga like the next day. They boxed outside in the backyard <laughs> just for disrespecting what what business y'all was trying to do. Let, let, let me just say this, homie. Uh, before he went to the internet, uh, I didn't know this. Yeah. So I'm mad. I'm thinking South Nim done played on me. Yeah, yeah, I'm thinking Sauce Nim done played on me. Uh, I can't wait to get back home so I can call Papa Sauce and be like, man, what was up with that? You know what I'm saying? Uh, Cause nigga, I know, man, Papa Sauce, man, them niggas too old to play. And then the kind of niggas that's around Sauce, homie, I'm saying, homie, that they ain't them kind of niggas, man, what? My nigga, you know, so nigga, I'm scratching my head all night. I'm scratching my head. Mm -hmm. Nigga Woods, me and me and me and Woods, nigga. Yeah, man, that's yeah, man, that's my ugly buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, then they got another little partner, homie. Uh no, nah, nigga, so my mind, man, what man, I'm really uh I'm confused. Mm -hmm. All night I'm confused, but nigga, I'm keeping my eye on them niggas. Uh but then nigga before the night in. You know, them niggas come holler at us, homie. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, them niggas, okay. uh, unk, shout out to Unk them, man, and Papa them. Uh, they, they do what, what the big dogs do. Mm. Say, so y'all gonna make that right? Oh, there you yeah, go. that was there a big dog. That was a big dog call from over South Head, homie. Shout out to Big Dog. Shout yeah, out to nah, big man, y'all, y'all gonna make that right, homie. Uh, God damn. Yeah, that, that, that wasn't right. Shout out to uh, Big Dog. Because it, it didn't, it didn't look right and it wasn't right. Uh, if you got a problem with that nigga, walk over there and say it to him. But then don't even say it then, cause nigga, we all right right now. This this we we this business. Yeah, we politicking, my nigga. We <laughs> so so uh so let me let me just say what I what, what I was about to say. Unbeknownst to me, I'm outside mad in the motherfucker. Uh, I don't went back to the hotel room mad in the motherfucker. Like it's soft, never been paid over. My nigga hit me, said, nah, homie. Uh, soon as them niggas came through the door and the door closed, uh, Sauce pulled one of them niggas to the side, the little nigga with the hat with the long hair. He said, I don't know what he said to him. Mm. He said, but yeah, like he was, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So when, so me and Dubey were separated. We, we separated, we got separated for a minute. Uh, so then when I look, link back up with Du, uh, do said, nah, man, uh, they, they come, you know, uh, you know, they came to a round table and, and, and made it right. There you go. Uh, and, 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 you know, got everything cleared up. Right, uh, but whoever that nigga is, do want to look at him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> Shout out Dewberry guy. Yeah, yeah, whoever that nigga is, yeah, I don't know, Star Lead or whatever his name is, that yeah, <laughs> do want to look at him, even after what they done did with him. Uh so, but you know, I, I, I ain't got nothing to do with, you know, with the with the with that part of it. Uh, uh I, I respect and honor the, the fact that the nigga corrected it as soon as it happened. That's real. That's uh real. without no cameras involved. That's real. Uh, real G shit. Uh yeah, so so what's understood ain't got to be explained. Uh, you know, nigga ain't got to call and tell me nothing. Uh, uh me and Papa Sauce and talk since then. We ain't even spoke on the situation. There you uh, go. like I said, what's understood ain't got to be explained. Uh, Not so big, yeah, yeah, big yeah. ball shit. I gotta ask you. Um, speaking of Unk, man, uh, Aiden Ross, man. Uh, sh congratulations to you and uh, Say Cheese for doing like a million in a we day. Did, so. Yeah, we did like one point seven in five days. We did a million in yeah, one less than twenty. The story hours. was. 
uh, very engaging. I'm like, I, even it's crazy because I was watching the live the whole time of each day. And uh, after you said, fuck it, leaving the hotel and the laws and all that shit came, I said, I, you were justified. Let me just say that. Yeah. But I'm just curious uh, because I remember there was one video to where you was in a hotel. They was doing some blindfold game trying to find shit in the box. And I'm like, man, they must be fucking with Charleston. And I, at what point did you feel it was like, this is, there's another play here. Didn't you hear me say, nigga, I'm not blindfolding myself in this room with all these rich ass white boys in here. I'm not putting my hand in no box, blindfolded. <laughs> Biggest facts. Oh, uh, nigga, I snapped. No, I'm not doing that. You hear me in the video. Man, there's something, something niggas ain't gonna do. Oh, <laughs> uh, homie, I'm very observant. Oh, man. Oh. Uh, I'm more so curious on even the prime event to where it looks like you went out there to conduct business for kick. Yeah. Um, it looked like they just was, you know, streaming the whole time, uh, doing all this, you know, we've seen the white girls, we've seen all that. Um, but there was a situation where it seemed like you were about to get into a confrontation with one of Aiden's guys. Yeah. They they brought him in to, to confrontate with me. Uh, day one, he was supposed to punk me. It's just like this guy at, at the boxing match. Uh, Aiden them brought him in to get me out at the mall, right? We out shopping. And uh, Prime come in and play like, well, say he's from Chicago and I'm one of King Vaughn's people. Mm. They really think I'm a weenie. So in their mind, when he do this, I'm going to cower out. Well, rather than me cowering out, <laughs> I secretly pull the mace out and tell him so. I don't care. Aiden steps back and see and lets it plays out. Aiden steps back, his security steps back, and his cameras keep rolling. We in public, homie. Yeah. That little nigga Prime looked and saw I wasn't budging, and I had some in my hand. He said, oh, no, 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 I'm just playing. Then him and Aiden start talking about how they set this up. Man, I was trying to text you to tell him. You should, so what if I would have never played tough? And would have been, you know what, what I'm saying? Is, yeah, what so is. how far would the punk, you see what I'm saying? So they seeing how far they can go. Same with this nigga, testing the waters. Mm. Do you, testing the waters. It seems like the whole weekend, and I'm just going off of what you were saying, uh, they might have had like a some type of homo gay agenda. Like just really don't seem like nothing, nigga. <laughs> they did. Yeah, it seems like they was really playing test. Man, that boy band man Kevin and sent that dick to everybody. <laughs> and boy, they been coming for that dick. <laughs> yeah, they been coming for that dick. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. They that boy done sent that boy done got that dick out in the industry and they secretly sharing that dick with people. Boy, and they coming. They running. Do you toward. regret ever having ever sending that picture to Bam Man? Uh, no, nigga. I don't give a damn about <laughs> what yeah, nigga. It ain't bothering me. It seems like I ain't seen no nigga dick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it seems like um the whole Aiden Ross situation, which I hope I don't know if y'all spoke since then. Uh, he no. seemed to be very apologetic about the whole situation. Like, damn, uh, Charleston, I'm sorry, but it seemed like it was. No, no, a, no, no, no. He, he don't seem apologetic about it at all. He seemed like he seemed like uh, he going around trying to make people believe uh, I want to rape his sister. He threatened oh, to rape my sister. Shit. I said I would rather rape your sister than take a Jew, turn a hand out from a Jew. Yeah, I would rather kill and rape your sister, nigga, than take a hand out. You trying to give me a hand out. Damn. Give me the game. Show me. Yeah, I'd rather lay around and put dick on your sister, nigga. <sighs> so that's what I said. So he trying to twist it and turn it into something else. But now nah, he's very unapologetic. And so am I. And last thing, uh, did you ever know where the two young ladies that was in the two uh, young Caucasian Oh, the girls? white hole. And yeah, where they come from? Man, they went and got them hoes off the street. <laughs> Uh, off the streets, uh, and them hoes come in, uh, and, and they was in, and, and then was, uh, uh, then was trailer park trash like white hoes. Them hoes, huh? them bitches didn't even have no tans. Uh, yeah, them the, them the, them the, them the hoes, yeah, yeah, the, the real pink toes. Yeah, the real pink toe was, yeah, nah, man, uh, them wasn't our kind of white girl. Them the kind of white girl just go get you put up under the jail house. Oh shit! The, with the yeah, the snuff dipping uncles and daddies and shit. <laughs> yeah, she them ain't the Baywatch babes. Yeah, that was all Vegas, man. I, again, I'm glad you got back home safe from that. It seems like last yeah, they still kick still been off me a deal. So Aiden dropped the ball, homie. Uh, they still 
Oh, uh, I got kick needs you. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna say that now. Kick needs you. Oh, uh, they 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 text me every other day saying what would it take for for me and Aiden. I said I don't want nothing to do with them. So I actually keep turning down the deal. All right, well, let's go and do it like this. Uh, we gotta, you know, talk about some things that didn't, didn't happen real quick. Uh, and I just gotta get your thoughts on it. I, I, I don't know if you've seen it yet, but uh, Kanye West, man, and his uh, his wife seen on a boat. Uh, it seemed like his pants is down a little bit. She's on her knees. They out of Italy and Rome, uh, you know, in one of them nice little Venetian boats. And the world is going crazy saying Kanye is out here getting toppy from his wife on a boat. I'm assuming in public. When you see something like that where a guy who technically was or is a billionaire is with his with his wife, he's allowed to technically do what he wants, but do you feel like some, uh, what is it called, uh, indiscretion, indiscretion should be involved in a scenario like Kanye West and his wife. Where, where they was at? It's Rome, Italy, somewhere out there in the water. Uh, Venice. Venice. That ain't in public. That's a nosy motherfucker. <laughs> out there. What, man, ain't nobody supposed to be out there with no billionaire <laughs> in Rome. What? And one of them islands on one of them boats. That's a nosy motherfucker. Well, it's like a telescopic lens. Man, that's, a, man, that's the government looking up there and taking pictures. Man, ain't nobody did that, nigga. That's the government. <laughs> yeah, that's the government. Yeah, ain't, 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 they, ain't, they wasn't in public. Ain't nobody seen that. That was a secret. That was a secret paparazzi camera that the snuck and got that motherfucking picture. Nah, Marie, yeah, man. yeah, 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 nah, man, man hell no. Nah. Shout out goddamn Kanye, man. Um, now, Don't nobody get to see a billionaire get his dick sucked. Nah, yeah, 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 nah, nobody get Compromising positions. Yeah, nah, homie, that's a motherfucker with a bad ass camera that's <laughs> taking p pictures from a submarine. <laughs> <laughs> The goddamn yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah. That's them four motherfuckers in that them billionaires in the submarine <laughs> taking pictures <laughs> from the goddamn that, submarine. that we think missing. Yeah, that's them motherfuckers missing in the submarine. <laughs> <laughs> Man, for real. Now, you've been recently, uh, you know, you were very big on you know the MAGA situation, man, Donald Trump. And uh, I got to get your thoughts. We haven't talked to you since it happened, but Fannie Willis, which you spoke on Fannie Willis with the YSL situation. Yeah, you're a big fan of... Uh, big fan, yeah, yeah, yeah big yeah, fan. Yeah, you're a big fan of Fannie. Were you a big fan for her bringing down your guy Donald Trump? Because now she's, you know, now she's playing in your, your territory now. <laughs> uh, no comment. <laughs> yeah, I'm very disappointed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Poor, I'm mad the motherfucker. Oh, uh, they say it go both ways. They say... Uh, yeah. Uh well, Donald Trump got up there and said she was fucking that nigga got killed. <laughs> so yeah, 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 she gonna get his ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you said I did what? <laughs> she gonna get his motherfucking ass. You said I did <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> no. Say, boy, you breaking true to my. Yeah, she got his motherfucking ass. But uh, <laughs> uh, he 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 uh, the powers to be. It's going to say that they don't have jurisdiction, so it won't stick. Mm. Yeah, it won't stick. To even get a mugshot of the president, what does that say about our nation? Uh, Former president, let me see. Uh, that's scary. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's scary mm. uh, because they typically have immunity. Typically, yeah. Uh, but that goes to show you, homie, uh, he had to been good for us. Yeah, that's the, they, they're trying to stop a good thing, huh? He had to been good for <laughs> us. They're trying to stop a good thing. Just, just something so, so significant as to what you just said. <sighs> the first president ever, nigga, to have a mugshot. That's a. Hey, that's he had so. to been good for us <sighs> because he didn't come in as a politician. Damn. He came and shook up their game, and he got to pay for it. Damn. Donald Trump is very, um, he's very, he's up there. I think he's 76, 77. Yeah. Uh, there's another guy, I believe a senator by the name of Mitch McConnell. He been uh, freezing up on live TV, just just ask, get asked a question. He just sits there and freeze due to some condition, I, I believe. But they're asking him, are you going to run in 2026 for senator? Do you feel like when you see old men running for positions of power, you know, again, you have a political background. Do you feel like nah? That should be an age limit. That is like hell. Nah. Yeah, it, it, it should. It should be an age limit, and it should be a time limit. Mm. Uh, George Washington was the only president who could have became king. Could have been become a king. 
So he the one set term limits that you can only run for two terms. There should be term limits for senators and congressional members. Thanks, uh, because, you know, as 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 our first president once said, this uh, 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 absolute power corrupts absolutely, nigga. So people who get to have power forever are the most corruptible people in the world. Mm. Been in power for too long. That's real. Nice. Nigga, you become you 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 you, you develop a a, a god like a uh, complex. You start thinking you God. Mm. Uh, man, Miss Miss McConnell, all them old motherfuckers too old, my nigga. <laughs> nigga, that's why racism won't die. We still got some of them motherfuckers still around in power from our judges, homie. Yeah, from the sixties and shit. Yeah, come on, my nigga. Yeah, yeah, they motherfuckers still in power. It's a motherfucker still around from that was born in the 40s. In power. Federal judges, nigga. It's some federal judges, nigga, that look like they supposed to be on the picture with Lincoln now. <laughs> they should be on the dollar, guy. Man, this motherfucker look like, man, that motherfucker supposed to be with Lincoln now. He ain't supposed to be in this era. <laughs> Hitting the gavel. Oh, shit, shit, no, man. So, uh, Mitch McConnell, homie, all them motherfuckers, nigga. Yeah. Nigga, like the Indians told America a long time ago, this country belongs to the young and the brave. Yeah. The young and the brave. Why you think they take the young and the brave and tell them, go over there and kill? Mm -hmm. Girl, put this badge on. Girl, take this key and go down there and tell all them inmates what to do. And you ain't number 19, 20 years old. You ain't never beat up nobody. You frail in a motherfucker with them freckles and pale pink skin. But you got a key telling all these motherfuckers in the jail what to do. America belongs to the young and the brave, my nigga. Mm. So that's supposed to be our politicians. Young motherfuckers coming in out of college that was in government and politics, used to run for school board president. They coming in. Them the motherfuckers, homie. The motherfuckers who was the president of the Black Students Association at, uh, at the HBCUs, them the motherfuckers we supposed to be sending up to the Congress. Not these old motherfuckers, but we not voting. So what's happening is all the old people that's friends with these old motherfuckers is voting for them, keeping them in power. God damn. Hey, 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 we got a, cha a change will come. And so they get the young motherfuckers to come be the congressional aides, the, the policy makers to help them write the speeches, to do all the research. And then the young motherfucker learn it. Then all of a sudden, when his old motherfucker decides to step down, he picks one. Ah. But he waits to forever to step down. That's real. That's real. God damn. That's free game right there. Um, now, Charles, I got to ask you, man, you have a daughter in which... Um, I see a situation right now going back and forth with Boosie and his daughter. And I ask myself, whenever you battle your daughter online, can you win that battle in the public in the no, court of you, public you, opinion? You, you lost. You lost. Uh I think I read somewhere today where they say Boosie made a a diss song. Oh, he made a diss song, yeah. Oh. A yeah. diss song. Uh talking about the mama, the baby. Uh uh, and this the nigga y'all respect. Damn. This the nigga y'all respect. This y'all real nigga. Mm. Y'all say Boosie a real nigga. He been to jail on this baby. Her pain stems from him. Her pain, uh, he said that he caught her uh, giving her body away at the boy football game. Well, nigga, you been a sexual guy. You been bringing these lust demons in your house. Mm -hmm. You been bringing these different strippers around your daughter when she was over there. Downstairs, you fucking this hoe in your music. So you think them spirits of lust and them spirits of sexual uh, 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 promise, oh, you think that ain't hot? It don't hovers over your daughter. You tried to get your son dick sucked when he was a 12, 13 year old boy. You think those spirits don't lurk with your daughter? So when you catch your daughter being sexual, nigga, you don't, you deal with her, you work with her, you correct her, nigga, cause guess what? You gave her them spirits. Same, man. 
You gave her them spirits, nigga. Mm. What would you do if your daughter called you a bitch ass nigga? Uh, I wouldn't go online and say nothing to my daughter. I wouldn't address it online or nothing with her daughter. But I'm gonna crack her across her motherfucking head. Hey. Hey. Nigga, I'm gonna crack her across her motherfucking head with a broom, a hey. broom stick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But I ain't, we ain't gonna talk about it online. I'm gonna crack her across her motherfucking head. <laughs> For, literally. <laughs> literally. Big poker, guys. <laughs> Nigga, I'm gonna crack her across her motherfucking head. Is there an age limit where you wouldn't, like, all right, you No. You <laughs> no. Anytime you can get it. Uh, if I've been absent in her life, then uh, I would reconsider. Mm. If I've been absent in her life, then I would reconsider. That's real. Man, that's uh, real. Uh, it ain't your fault, baby. It ain't your fault you're a freaky little girl right now. Mm. When, you, when, when, when you were born, I had a baby over her. I had a baby over there. I had a baby over her. I'm putting X pills in girl booty holes. I'm yeah. treating them like a dog, beating them like a dog, fuck them like a dog. So... It's some things that you may have seen and some things that you may have heard when I was younger uh, that I didn't take time to shield and protect you from. Uh, but nigga, I'm not taking this on public display uh, no matter how my baby want to do it. Nigga, I'm, I, I'm going to reroute. I'm going to reroute this. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, nah, homie, because what I see is a little girl that's in pain. Uh, I, what I see is a little girl uh, uh and this is not just with, with little boots at home. This is with a bunch of niggas that got the inside and the outside kids. You got some kids that you live with. Those your inside kids. That's how your kids see it. Them the kids that live in the house with daddy. Them the inside kids. Daddy love on them. They get to spend time with daddy. Your outside kids don't see you the same way as your inside kids. It ain't they fault that daddy was reckless with his dick. Left a baby over here, a baby over there, a baby. Daddy was reckless with his dick. And so I'm over here with tooting them today in the house with me. Me and your mama don't get along. You don't get to be in the house with me. It ain't your fault, baby. So whatever you saying, whatever you feeling, you got a right. I don't have no right to bite back. I created this situation where you over here, he over here, she over here, and they over here and you over there. I bring you over here with me, but guess what? I'm still getting treated like an outside baby. Daddy, you traveling. Daddy, you on the road. So when I'm over here with them, these the kids been in the house with you. They got a different kind of bond. I don't have no bond. So when me, when they fighting and we fight, they go make it look like I'm the back because I'm the outside baby, daddy. They don't understand that when, they, when that happened with the kids. So you take the car, this little motherfucker here wrecking the Bentley, this nigga here wrecked the Rolls Royce, he going to jail, you ain't taking his car, daddy. I get caught having sex, you go online and tell the world, I'm a little freaky motherfucker, tootie freaky too, daddy. So come on, homie. You gonna go make a song, daddy? And further, Inflict pain and harm upon me, and bash my mama, daddy. I wish you would have died on death row, daddy. Why you want to alienate that baby like that? I was gonna ask, is the baby mama at off limits? Oh, uh, you had a baby with her. Yes, yeah, she off limits. In the song, she had brought up like, man, we, uh, me and my partner ran a threesome on the baby mama. But, 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 is that the baby mama who brother he killed? Oh, yes, yeah. Come on now. Yeah, shit. Come on, nigga. You done killed baby mama brother. You think these people don't feel this kind of way about you, nigga? Mm. Yeah, let's be real with this shit, y'all. Mm. Nigga, you done killed baby mama brother. Is this the baby mama brother that you killed, nigga? Mm. To publicly crucify your seed, nigga. Because you go pay for this. You're going to pay for this, Boosie. Mm. You're going to pay for this, nigga. I'm going to swing it left a little bit because I, I got to get your thoughts on this real quick. Um, we have a situation with Lizzo where she is uh, now being charged with sexual harassment and 
bat shaming her workers, body shaming them. Um, what are your thoughts when you see when you read headlines like this? You feel like we in the Matrix or some shit? Like what? No, nah, fat motherfucker been mean like that when they get <laughs> some money and shit like that. Yeah, that big old fat bitch. I knew that big old fat empowered fat hoe would mean to people. I already knew it, my nigga. You it was got, in the nature already. You, felt, you saw that. She was too fat girl in power. And she was too sassy to be a big fat bitch. <laughs> she ain't yeah, a big fat bitch is like her for be sweet. Like Muddy and them. Baking some motherfucking well. Sit on somewhere shaking how that big hoe be shaking. Y'all knew that hoe had done that. Them people ain't lying on her. And it's a bunch of fat people. Yeah, 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 yeah. They ain't lying on that big bitch. <laughs> <laughs> gonna be a tough time in court. Yeah, I'm sitting up thinking. Gonna be a tough time in court. Yeah, that bitch did that shit, homie. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't never liked that big old fat proud motherfucker. <laughs> but was she too proud? Just a bitch. that fat motherfucker ain't proud. They lying. Ain't ain't fat motherfucker in the world proud to be big. You mean they lying <laughs> like a bitch lying? That's just some shit she done came up with to sing along to. <laughs> okay, okay, um. Uh, in Atlanta, man, there was a situation where a coach uh, just went to jail. I man, he gut punched one of his players. <laughs> I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm talking about. He didn't know the. He must have known the cameras was all on this. <laughs> that nigga whooped his woman and everything in the house. Did that one of them coaches his woman beat her? Kid beat her? <laughs> they need more coaches like him. Oh, nigga, keep niggas ass out of games. I bet they still on the football team. Yo, no, no. They need more coaches like that gut punching these little motherfucker. That ain't like the first punch. That, no, like been no. He been, he been jawing the kid and everything. Hitting the bill. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah he a wreck into they car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He got anger issues. But he, I bet he a good coach. Oh, yeah. Bob McKnight. Oh, all the most over like that. Who's what? He ain't nothing but a nigga Bob McKnight. Man, get it, man. <laughs> Give him probation and still let him coach kids. Let him coach, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let him coach. So, so and many kids tell, him, good tell him, lighten up with so much power, but keep <laughs> punching them <laughs> Hey, no. why would I see that shit? <laughs> they, they need to bring coaches back. No, that's good coaching. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that good motherfucking coaching. Many little old mama boys coming out there can't yeah. take them stomach punches in pads. Man, fuck them weak ass little boy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why Alabama's strong. God damn. Now, I bet Nick Saban doing that same shit. <laughs> no, really. You, I bet Nick Saban kicking them niggas' ass. You can't tell me. Because I hear a nigga follow instruction if you ain't doing that. Should the coach been aware that cameras may be on or the news was out there? Man, niggas don't <laughs> give a damn. Nigga, coach, coach, coach. Coach, <laughs> coach, coach. However you got the coach, coach. <laughs> Fuck them cameras. Yeah, next time start making everybody no cameras at practice or at the games. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, we just recently had a guy in here, man, uh, uh, who was, someone tried to kick in his door. Oh, home. y'all had that nigga in there? We had him in here just yesterday, just the other day. Just yesterday, he came in here, did, his, did an interview. Uh, Ethan Rodriguez, man, bust out his door. He said, everybody ain't going. He just shot 13 times, didn't know who the fuck was going on. Yeah, that- I don't lie. He could have killed the neighbor across the hallway <laughs> and all that. He probably been looking at that peak hole. Yeah. <laughs> Soon that nigga kicked that motherfucker. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> He, he wastes all them goddamn bullets scared, shooting from the back room, scared red Mexican. Yeah, nah, nah, he gonna be at that motherfucking peak hole, looking out. <laughs> Soon as he kicked that bitch, <laughs> pop! Yeah, yeah, he scared in the motherfucker, shooting from the back room, spraying all, man, nah. Man. Yeah, nah, man, fuck him. Oh, yeah, 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 nah, he playing with them guns in the house. Do you feel like someone trying to kick a door in that many times they was targeting the house they was trying to get something in that house or that was random that's just a random uh, robber nigga if you knock on the door and say oh man my bad wrong how you targeting me <laughs> yeah yeah I'm coming out yeah you targeting me and now nah, homie and you doing that yeah you trying to come in here you done yeah. kick boom <laughs> Boom! And then another nigga come try to do it. Oh, man, he supposed to chase them down and everything. He supposed to get in the car. Nah, man, he supposed, man, he supposed got him some charges. Oh, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nigga. Uh, nah, Mick, because cause you go play crazy. I mean, I was scared. I didn't know if they were coming yeah, back. Yeah, free kill. Free kill. Man, he supposed to take me, he, but, he, but you really don't want to kill nobody. But them two niggas, you supposed to kill. Mm. 
Yeah, yeah, you, that's supposed to be the example to teach all of the robbers to knock first. <sighs> you knock on the door first. Make a motherfucker say, who is it, before you try to kick the door in. Make sure ain't nobody there. Biggest facts. Yeah, Biggest that's what you're facts. supposed to do. Make sure ain't nobody there. But everybody know Rodriguez or whatever his name, sell weed or some type of drug. That's why them niggas were kicking on that door, and that door was heavily secured in the apartment complex. What door that motherfucker heavily secured in the apartment complex? <laughs> in the apartment complex. What door got that much security where it ain't buzzing? Them niggas were boom. <laughs> Boom! Man, one nigga turned his back, huh? Man, <laughs> man. So, man. Battle ram, niggas. Come on, homie. What secure? What apartment though got that kind of motherfucking yeah, the Middle dead Earth can get in that mother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's selling drugs. They didn't mean to go back and investigate him. Oh, goddamn. <laughs> oh, goddamn. All right, well, um, you know, God bless him. Uh, you know, yeah, everyone man. came out alive. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. You know, goddamn. Now, real quick, um, say, did the bright nigga tell on another nigga? Or they just got one nigga. They just got one nigga. Oh, yeah, nah, nigga, nigga mean, so far, you know, they got one nigga. I'm saying, come, we coming in together. <laughs> they, together. Say, they got you too. Nah, but the nigga went up there with no mask on. He man, green I'm, camera I'm, and everything. I'm gonna tell him who behind the mask. <laughs> Nigga, we ain't finna do this by, by myself. Yeah, nigga, let me get nigga, some time yeah. off my shit. Nigga, nigga breaking and entering in the type of charge they just put on me. I need a friend down here with me. God damn. Speaking nigga, don't of forget about me. Speaking of down here with me, you had spoke on Tory Lanez on your platform. Yeah. Uh, he now, of course, is doing his 10 years. He's going to get shipped off to prison. On last, We asked you about Tory Lanez on our platform. You said, fuck a fight. Figure it out. Figure yeah, it out. Yeah. Do talent. Do some talent scouts. So, <laughs> yeah, was any updated? There's some good rappers the nigga want to hear from. Oh shit! So he should be in there recruiting niggas. Yes, yeah, all them Empire. niggas, all them niggas that can still rap good, uh, that can articulate good words, uh, teach them how to mumble rap. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring home some new mumble rappers that's been gone from the nineties and the early two thousand, and I bet he got him some great rappers. God, damn. Uh, hopefully, you know, he might get time sh shortened. He might get out. He might be on the same shit. Who knows? But, uh, you know, Tory Lanez is going to go. He going he gonna to do what he do. He going to do what he do. Now, I got to ask you, because we also had somebody else on this couch, and I just want your thoughts on it, man. Um, we did bring Twisted Black up here. Yeah. Uh, he got out of jail. Uh, we said, please, can you, uh, you know, come through? Holla at us first. Just, you know, heard he was a fan of the channel and shit like that. Um, I hope what what was, was your issue with? I hope it was a free interview. <laughs> I hope y'all ain't pay that nigga. Oh, God damn. Cause that nigga damn sure didn't deserve no motherfucking paid interview. Yeah, okay. What is your issue, if anything? I hate losers. <clears throat> I hate losers who celebrated. The guy been to prison four times. How can you be a legend and you didn't fail four times? You didn't lost four times. So hey. he got out and made a diss record about me. After having tried to do a song with me when me and T.I. was going through it. <clears throat> Right? So I'm saying, why would a nigga who been locked up 17 years, mama done died in prison, wife done divorced him, son ain't had a new pair of tennis shoes since she been gone. Uh, man, why would that nigga come home and make a diss record about Charleston White, the only nigga who really been bumping his music to the rest of the world? Why would that nigga do that? Mm. So when he did that, homie, uh, yeah, I, I took that personal. Nigga, I ain't never left my kids. You done left your kids four times, my nigga. You been to state prison three times, federal prison one time. Your mama died in prison, nigga. Mm. Mm. And what kind of nigga you think you is to come out here and talk to a nigga that's been out here feeding the community in the neighborhoods, nigga? Taking care of my mother, raising my children. How can you fix your lips, you fucking loser? You fucking convict? You can't even go get an own apartment, nigga. Matter of fact, nigga, you broke into the jailhouse, you dumbass rapping, nigga. Fucking with Angie, Denise Husson, and Young Thousand and your music. You went to bragging about how many bricks you were selling, dumbass niggas out your carpet, and you really had a carpet selling bricks out of it. You went to putting niggas' names in song, t Cad, Lil Lordy, Kevin Spencer. You went to putting niggas' names in song, sucker-ass nigga. How you a hell of a nigga? You ain't the king of four words, nigga. I run this shit. 
Ain't nobody bigger than me coming out this motherfucking funky town, nigga. Twisted Black go, yeah, ain't nothing bigger than this, nigga. I done surpassed the billions in views. Ain't none of you niggas did that, nigga. I'm the biggest name in the world right now. You better sit your ass down, old ass rapping nigga. You and everything around you, sucker. You done had your day and you done had your chance, nigga. Ain't nobody buying no 50-year-old niggas' albums, coming out of prison, still talking about selling dope. Nigga, the best thing for you to do to have came out and got with a nigga instead of going against a nigga. So now I'm going to destroy your career, nigga, for coming out hugging with the nigga with the town snitch. Soon as you come home from federal prison, you on the video, you and Kevin Spencer hugging up, nigga. And Kevin Spencer is the main nigga in the fishbowl in the Tegan. Talking about Tegan couldn't get you. Nigga, they got you telling on yourself, nigga. Putting all your songs in your, all your, your drug dealings in your song. I'm going to cook my way to the top. That's what got you 330 year sentences, nigga. Who's celebrating this loser? How he a hell of a nigga? You do 17 years talk all this noise about Kevin Spencer. Y'all won't even say his name, my nigga. And everybody know he told. Everybody know he told, nigga. This is for my niggas T-Cag and Big that took they lead. Nigga, you hugged up with Kevin Spencer as soon as you come home, nigga. But I supposed to be the snitch. I supposed to be the rat, and all y'all niggas done read that paperwork. How you come home and do this, Twisted Black? You better quit rapping before I tell the world you did it, nigga. You can't come home. You got to go to telling us how God changed your life, but we don't want to hear no more street rapping, nigga. Hood fame, little money running, going to go get the old ass washed up, has been, used to be ass, nigga. Y'all done failed too, nigga. Y'all ain't went nowhere. Go, yeah, yo, fumble the ball, nigga. You can miss what God have for you, my nigga. And y'all missed it. Because what you had in your hearts when God was trying to give it to you and get it to you, nigga. He knew he couldn't get nothing to you to get through you to the rest of your people, nigga. I take care of this city. I feed these people. I bury these people. You niggas didn't do none of that with the money, nigga. You niggas showed the money, bought cars with the money. You niggas, that, you niggas left your families. You niggas went to jail. You gave the money to lawyers. I ain't doing none of that, nigga. And I don't say I'm a king, nigga, because I'm sitting on no motherfucking throne called a city. I say I'm a king, nigga, because I stand on my own. I created a kingdom, nigga, that takes care of a whole village. So for a nigga like him to come home and niggas roll out the red carpet, how many times do a nigga get a welcome home party, nigga? Before we start saying this nigga is a loser. And any nigga go to prison and come home, you a loser, nigga. And I don't salute nothing about no nigga going to prison. You a loser, nigga. Prison is for losers. Prison is for losers. And just because you come home and try to get it right, you got five years before we can start shaking your hand, nigga. Because 85 to 90% of you niggas are back or rearrested within five years after being released from prison. Those are the stats. So wait five years for y'all start shaking a nigga hand after he come home, nigga. Let's see if he going back. Let's see if he going back to dealing drugs. Let's see if he going back to what all them niggas go back to within 24 months after being released. You know why? Because the first day he got out, all of them met back up, nigga. If I've been gone 17 years, I don't want to meet back up with the streets. I don't want to meet back up with the streets. I don't want to pick back up where I left off, nigga. I want to bury that shit. Now, Tay Savage himself was on No Jumper said, man, people need to leave Charleston alone. That's the best advice he could give People just leave him alone. Yeah, that's that's the best advice. Because <laughs> nigga, I ain't bothering nobody. <laughs> they, uh, they seem to come for you. Uh, but boy, if you bother me, I promise you, <laughs> you better be ready. 
The guns, y'all, nigga, I got over 100 guns. I got mace, I got mace guns, I got tasers, I got taser pins, I got pins. I got everything I need, homie, for self-defense. I'm not out here waking up saying, hey, Leroy Jimmy, fuck you. I say things and niggas get offended by what I say and say what they go do to me, and I say do it. I dare you to do it. I dare you to try to do it, nigga. Uh, I, uh, Blueface just got stabbed. Is stabbing the new thing like? Uh, nah, nah, nah. That, that was that, that was a stage stabbing because niggas don't niggas don't swing knives towards your legs. Yeah. <laughs> niggas don't swing knives towards your legs, my nigga. Yeah. No one in prison, no one in jail. A nigga, they teach them Mexicans to stab at your legs. Yeah, I ain't seen that. Before. A nigga really trying to hurt you ain't stabbing at your legs. Yeah. Come on now. Yeah, that sounds a faulty play right there. Come sounds, on now. Yeah, that sounds like a faulty play. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, nah, I, I think Blueface is a little bit above that, but maybe uh, not. <laughs> maybe uh, not. Homie, I don't put nothing past nothing, homie. Uh, because when the cameras is on and it go to the internet, everybody playing. Yeah. Uh, everybody playing. Mm. Uh, if the video of me fighting before, yeah, yeah, everybody playing. Mm. If you get to see the video, homie, to the situation, everybody playing. Dang. That's why the police don't release the videos until they ready to play. Hey, 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 you saying something? <laughs> you saying something? <laughs> you saying something? <laughs> Now, Charles, I got to make sure we touch on the positive too, man. Uh, you was able to go out and uh, talk to some kids uh, at a juvenile facility. Yeah. I'm just curious. Um, and this is just from an insider knowledge because we see you talking to the kids. We see you telling your story. We don't see them. I'm curious. What are are the kids? Are they focused in? Are they asking questions afterwards? What is yeah. their reaction when, you, when you're talking to them? Uh, you, hear our quiet, you hear our quiet there, don't you? Yes. You don't never hear a staff member say, hey, man, y'all stop doing that. Hey, man, sit up. You don't never hear a staff member in the background. Facts. You can hear, they, they focused in like a motherfucker. Mm. They be focused in. Uh, because I tap into a, a kid's pain, homie. You hear the type of things that I say? Yeah. Whatever's happened to you, little homie, it's not your fault. I don't know who been molested. I don't know who been abused. Yeah, so uh, yeah, not how many, uh, uh, I talk to their pain. I talk to their hurt. Uh, uh, because that's the that's the wall of defense. Uh, that's the smoke screen you got to get around and get past. Uh, and 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 so. Uh, when I see them relaxing their chairs, when I see their body, their body language, you know, first they be a little tensed up, you know, yeah. you know. But one, once you see them to relax, once you make eye contact, and you see that every time I look at him, he making eye contact. That's how you know they paying attention. Uh, so, uh, do they ever open up for questions at the end? Yeah. Uh, what type of questions do some of these kids be asking you, just in general? Uh, how do you know you're a good person? Oh. Uh, wow. Uh, how did how did you hear from God if you don't believe in God? Wow. Yeah, they ask some wild questions. Yeah, they put a nigga on his heels and toes. Uh, but it become therapeutic for me. Uh, because all the mean shit I say and all the all, all the all the fuck shit uh, that I see, uh, it all comes back uh, to the different souls I see in them kids. Uh, and then make it easy for me to come online and play this villain. Yeah, we was jokingly saying that, you know, Rogan said you had made a deal with God. I did. Ooh. Uh, home, I had a dream one time. I was right. Yeah, he was right. He was right. Yeah, he, he gets right. Uh, nigga, why you think I'm so bold? Nah, for real. Nigga, why you think, uh, home the police, uh, her motherfuckers say I'm suicidal and homicidal. That I want a motherfucker to kill me. Nigga, I don't want to be killed. Uh, but nigga, I got a level of protection. I got a level of protection, nigga, that, that, that covers over me because of what I do with children. If I ever stop doing what I'm doing with this shit with kids, homie. Amen. Uh, I believe something will happen to me. So, so let me just give you an example. Yeah. 
when a nigga really want to do something to me, all the real niggas that really do something to people, say, nah, homie, that nigga really work with kids. Yeah. That's, that's, that's the, that's, that's the, that's the common denominator, nigga. Mm. And what's keeping me alive. The, the streets go come out and say, nah, nigga, that nigga really work with kids, homie. That's from the gangster to the most gangsters to the most gangster. Nigga, somebody gangster say, nah, that nigga really work with kids. So I had this dream one time. I was standing on stage talking to kids. And nigga, this, this, I was in my mid-20s before I even started doing anything community-wise. Yeah. I'm standing on stage talking to these children in this dream. Then all of a sudden, my brother appeared. Dewberry appeared. All my partners that I was locked up in the boys' home who caught murder cases, all these niggas appeared. So all of us standing on stage who had killed people. And we're talking to a crowd of children. The kids crying, we crying. And we're sharing our life stories. Now, I can't hear theirs, but I can hear, I'm can. i sharing mine. Uh, at the end of this dream, we all enter into individual doors with blinding bright lights like a stage. I wake up. Man, shit. My mother said, uh, she had came into the room. And she said, son, you want to go to church? I'm thinking to myself, no, nah, I don't believe in that shit. You know, I'm just coming home from the boys' home. I done went through the Muslim shit. Uh, so at, at this time in my life in particular, I got a, a, a mindset in a, in, a, in a religious ideology about a game God. You know how niggas got the pimp God, you got the crip God, you got the game God. So I think it's a game God. Uh, so I tell my mama, no. So I go on the back porch, nigga smoking my blunt when she leave. We were smoking Philly blunts back then. So while I was getting high, I had an urge to go to church. That urge began to kind of turn into like a fear. Oh, wow. Some saying, well, man, maybe you just should go to church and put some money in church and get, maybe you got the Hanks coming on you. Nigga think he got some bad luck coming, you know. Just that game God talking. So I go to church. And I sit on the back row at Axe Church in Forest Hill. Uh, the preacher name was uh, Apostle Darrell Wilson. So I sit on the back of the motherfucking church, high in the motherfucker, full of that good motherfucking weed. And the preacher come out and he look at me. Now, homie, I, ain't, I don't believe in this shit. He look at me. I look at him. And in my mind, I said, shit, somebody probably told me I smell like weed when I came in here. So I'm just sitting there listening to a preach. So he preached about Joseph in the Bible. I don't know nothing about Joseph. He's saying how Joseph was sold into slavery by his brothers and he was falsely accused of rape and all of a sudden. So I get this story about Joseph. Okay, cool. Hurry up, nigga, so I can pay tithes and leave is what I'm telling myself. So at the end of the sermon, he said, man, when I walked out here, I got a kick in my spirit. And the Holy Spirit told me to tell you that you're a Joseph, young man. And he pointed me. In my mind, I think all preachers is bullshit niggas. Yeah, he fucking with me. New guy at the church, he fucking with me. So he said, I just want to pray for you, young man. So I go down there, let him pray for me, put his hand on my head, shoulders, and praying. And he began reciting that dream that I had the night before that nobody knew nothing about. Say, but he saw me sharing uh, impacting children's lives. He don't know what I done been through. He don't know, nigga, I just come home on a murder case. Uh, he said, I see you working with governments, changing laws and legislation. Wow. So, uh, nigga, make a long story short, uh, I didn't find God in a book or through a preacher. Some contacted me by way of a dream. So to fast forward 10, 15 years later, for me to fulfill whatever prophecy that was spoken over my life, uh, I made an agreement with God, homie. Uh, I submitted. Uh, yeah, I submitted, homie. Uh, yeah, I submitted. 
Man. So, uh, so my vow was to, I don't want to do wrong to nobody. So that's why you don't never hear nobody say I done wrong to him. They always say, well, he said this about me. He said this about my baby. They don't never say, well, he did this to me. They don't never say that. Nah. Uh, I said, I said, God, I know I'm going to do wrong as an individual and as a person, but I don't want to intentionally do wrong to nobody. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Just living, nigga, go do wrong, but I don't intentionally do wrong to people. Man. So, uh, so, so once, so, so it, it's my belief that in my purpose is where my protection lies. So I stay in purpose, no matter what. I stay in purpose. Once I get out of purpose, nigga, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get my head bust. Ooh. Man, thank you for that, because, you know, we see you moving and people keep thinking, oh, he's going to sell out and do this and do that. And I, I ain't going to lie, when I see millions on the table, I'm like, the things you could do with a few million dollars right now with the kids, I surprise you say, man, I'm not going to just sell out and do this. But I've made a few million without doing it. Man, talk about it. <laughs> talk Nigga, about I done made a few million just doing what I'm doing. Talk Google ain't lying. <laughs> talk to When a nigga Googling my network, my motherfucker ain't lying. Come on now. Yeah, nah, that motherfucker ain't lying. But uh, uh, but but that's with any of us, homie. Yeah. Uh, it, we all got a, a a limit of protection in, in doing wrong. Uh, it's a small limit that that you you you're you're afforded in, in a water protection uh to do wrong. But homie, when you doing right, and and and, and you have an intent on doing right. Nah, homie, uh, nigga, you don't fear wrong. You don't fear harm. And your, you, your intent. What I wake up telling myself, laughing at the internet, saying, what do these people want me to believe I'm supposed to be afraid of? What have I done so wrong that I need to fear karma? Nah, that's real. Nothing? <laughs> that's real. Nothing. <laughs> you want me to believe what I'm saying? Has some karma that's gonna supersede what these gang bangers and street niggas are doing. People really believe that? That what I'm saying is gonna get me killed faster than what these niggas are actually doing every day? I refuse to believe that. And that's why I'm so bold hmm. and so fearless. That's why he's so fearless. I, I just got a question to um, what do you think Malcolm X did to get killed? Uh he started telling the truth about uh, uh, Elijah Muhammad. Uh, and then he started challenging black people in a way that, that, that I'm challenging black people. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and, and he followed a man that didn't have his best interest at heart. Uh, that's why I quickly got from up under T.K. Kirkland. So Malcolm nice. got killed for doing shit like that, huh? and Malcolm wouldn't. Malcolm talked that by any means necessary, nigga. But Malcolm didn't have a gun. If I'm gonna die, if I'm gonna get killed, I'm gonna die with a gun. I'm gonna die with some weapons. I ain't gonna die with a Bible or a Quran. And does Charleston White want followers? Do you want a following that follows in exactly what you say and do and follow your movement? Fuck no. Okay. Hell no. Nah. I don't want to be no motherfucking nigga. Uh, hell no. Nah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how a nigga woman get fucked. Um, uh, uh, nigga get in a nigga mama's wheel. Nah, nah. I'm too rotten and dirty for that kind of motherfucking shit. Nah, hell no. Nah. I don't want that type of shit. Shit, no. Nah. Every last one of them niggas, hell no, nah, they come after them niggas. Nah, I don't want that. Uh, I want not... some niggas arguing with me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. Man, you already know what it is, man. Goddamn, put Charles White back in the building, man. Uh, uh, can you tell them, because again, live the Live Nation show stopped. I know you got some comedy shows coming up. Yeah, man, what do you got... have coming up for the rest of the year? Uh, man, I got, I'm booked to actually march. Uh, Man, I'm about March to, of 2024. 2024, yeah, Good man. Uh, uh, I got a, I got a, what was that? Tequila Vodka. 
Oh, I got a tequila. Ooh, hope, I hope tequila. it's tequila. Yeah, I got a tequila. I got a, oh, hell I got yeah. A, hell I got, yeah. I got, I got, I got a very lucrative tequila deal on the table. Uh, uh, I got a boxing contract uh, with, yeah. with, with, with top rank boxing, so I'm probably going to be. Yeah, we uh, want, hey, listen, we want to see you back out there. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to be over there with Canelo now with top rank boxing. Uh, uh, doing some things, uh, whether that's commentating, whether that's them getting me into WWE. Uh, <laughs> oh, that'll be lit. Uh, yeah, yeah, that'll yeah. Be lit. Uh, so uh, let me see what else. Uh, Say Cheese TV uh, presents uh, Charleston White. I'm gonna tell it. Uh, comedy tour. Uh, <laughs> right now we got 20 cities, 20 cities in the making so far. That's set. Uh, them hoes gonna sell out. Trust yeah. Me. So. Uh, <laughs> I'm coming through here here shortly. I got Colleen. I got a whole weekend at the Army, uh, 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 at the Twice as Funny Comedy Lounge out there. So I'm gonna be with my military people. Oh, uh, I got Mississippi. I got Beaumont. Oh, uh, <laughs> shout out Little Rock. I got Little Rock. I got uh, Missouri. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Louisiana. Uh, I'm back in Phoenix. Uh, I got LA. Uh, I got I got a I got a low rod event. I'm doing with the SAs and the Mexicans. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, man, I got a lot of shit. I'm, I'm going over to Mexico to do some things. So. I gonna say when you are you gonna take international? Are you gonna take? Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. So yeah. so uh, so I, I got I got I got I got a real big announcement uh, uh, that that I'm gonna be making here real soon. That's that it's, it's an international announcement. Ooh. Uh, so nah, homie, it's a, it's a lot of shit on the table, homie. Oh man, yeah. road warrior, man. Yeah, God yeah. damn it, man. Charles White out here getting to it, man. Like I say, uh, Alexa, uh, play Welcome Back. Yeah. Uh, Cause the boy's back in the city, oh, man. man. And shout out to Shannon Briggs, man. They got the movie Brownsville for to come out, man. They put me in. So uh yeah, yeah. Nah, homie, this this is uh 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 I got a new boxing name, El Gallo uh, Netigo. <laughs> oh, uh, damn. the Black damn. Rooster. Oh shit! The El black Gallo. rooster. El Gallo Netigo. Yeah, oh. I'm the black rooster now. Don't come so, out masked uh, up, man. Uh, I hate to, you know, be a. Uh, uh, <laughs> well, let me just say this, this motherfucker. <laughs> Y'all done had a lot of niggas sit on this couch that know me, been locked up with me, been locked up with niggas that know me. Y'all still ain't heard one nigga say, "Man, that nigga should get beat up." Mm. I didn't claim to be a gang leader. <laughs> I didn't claim to be all this right here in Texas. I went to school here. I went, I was, nigga, it ain't one nigga to come forward and say, man, he can't fight. You ain't heard that nowhere, homie. Mm. Uh, uh, man, just don't, you know, a lot of niggas let the size fool them. <laughs> uh, but I don't talk this loud and this much for nothing, and I ain't been hitting the mouth yet. <laughs> I go to the strip club by myself, homie. I be, nigga, ain't no niggas know around here. Uh, I only get approached when I leave, leave the state. Nobody approaches me in Texas. Nobody. Man, come on now. Nigga, so, I grew up here, nigga. Yeah, yeah, I grew up here. And everybody know that little nigga dangerous. And everybody know that little nigga will shoot that gun. Okay, hey, come on now. They know that, homie. So uh, just leave him alone, my nigga. Nigga ain't he online talking. Why he bothering you? Man, when he said, how that's bothering you, though, homie? Why this little nigga Prime so mad? I sent another nigga my dick. Bam, man, Keith ain't mad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nigga, he done referred the dick to somebody else. So, yeah. Oh, he sent it to, he gave, he sent his picture. Bam, man, Keith he sent it to a bunch of people. Looked at it. Gave it a name. <laughs> shout out to big folk ah, yeah. shout out to big folk <laughs> god damn it man uh, Charleston uh, pig poking white yeah you yeah, already right. god damn building you already know what it is man another classic in the rest say man and, and, oh. and while we talking pig poker yo let's go oh uh, if y'all don't get nothing else for me homie protect yourself at all time oh, yeah. because at the end of the day protection is still our only liberty. Learning how to use these and learning how to pull something out your pocket. I don't want to kill no nigga. All of this shit is self-defense mechanism, homie. That's why I would much rather call the police, put a nigga ass in jail so mama and them can go see him. He write them pretty letters home with them Kool-Aid envelope stamps and all that type of motherfucking shit. And yeah, homie, so uh, I don't want to kill my people, homie. The bullets is for the revolution. Oh. Talk to him, God damn yeah. it, man. Charleston White, once again, another classic in the bag, man. Hey, we salute everything you're doing. Uh, we tuned all the way in, man. You got the world's attention, man, and you seem to not let it go. So, hey, 
We along for the ride, man. We got to say it, man. Charleston White, you are a real life three star, man. Salute that shit. Let go. <laughs>